come from he came from another dimension hi Kyo, rose laura lot I ch a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a
Oh. Oh. Alright, let's try this today. There we go. Okay, we're not doing desktop capture today. We're just doing a uh, game capture. I'm going to see if it performs any better or not. Probably not, but let's try. Usually finish video on good board, Chad. Those that are seven plus, I hesitate on finishing. <laughs> <laughs> Those good games, though. <laughs> Okay, I had to double check. I was doing a little bit of testing uh, yesterday, so I had to make sure I loaded the right save. Yeah. And one of the things I was trying to do over the weekend was uh, get two PC capture set up, but I ran into problems with the audio. I couldn't figure out how to properly route the audio. Like, I could do it, but it'd be like jank, and I didn't want that. I was trying to go for something that, uh... Kind of sent the audio in, like, its pure format. That's my problem. Uh, well, what's my problem? <laughs> uh, whenever I play like those games, of like, of, like the really long games, I'll play like really ham into, and then I'll be like, okay, all right, I'm I'm out of steam. And then I'll put it down for a bit, and I'm like, man, I should really finish the X game. It was really good. Uh, but whenever I go back, I remember nothing. I remember like absolutely nothing. And I'm like, ah, crap. I should just start over. But then, like, I start remembering everything, I'm like, ah, crap. <laughs> and then, like, I'll flip-flop between the files, and it'll be like, okay, all right, well, I remember a lot of stuff. And then I'll go back to where I was, and I'm like, ah, crap, now I, now I don't remember what happened there. What's going on? And I'll have to go back to the, the first save, and... Mutual drunken meltdowns, that sounds awesome. Ooh, Assassin's Creed series marathon. Ooh. How'd you like it? They mauled him. <laughs> Fantastic. Is Albert his uh, respective little brother? And then you hit the wall after some big grinding I did to try out some crazy stuff and then get distracted by the games and life stuff. Yeah, yeah, Chad, I feel that. Then I pull a Chris and just forget exactly what I did after playing it. I just be like, what the fuck was I doing in this save? And start over, yeah! <laughs> well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss anything. So the Scorpium are not so dissimilar from us. They possess wills of their own. Okay, right, right. We were right in front of the... 
nap time. Also, when I go full blast, I mean full blast. I'll be theory crafting, investing shit, reading up on a lore and craft. <laughs> I'll do about what I'll do. Optimize to get things, etc., etc. Oh, man. Ah. Man, that I've done that on a couple games, but it's... It's like... It's not often that it happens. Like I remember, I remember having, I have actually have the notebook. It was over there. Funny enough, I found the notebook, and it has like a bunch of just random stuff that I done, like little uh, video notes that I had taken along the way. I think it even has my like uh, League of Legends cipher that I wrote, and then I guess an alternative cipher that I was like halfway working on. Uh, I don't remember the alternative one. I think I probably started that one. And then I was like, but I want to do something on Anivia. I liked Anivia. Anivia was a pretty cool champion. So then I wrote that one instead. <laughs> and like, in the midst of that, I found my uh, Final Fantasy XI escapades. And that was probably the game that I did. I did that for. I got really invested in Final Fantasy XI. Like, I had notepads tracking all sorts of stuff. It was like... <laughs> weather cycles. I saw, like, my Chocobo, uh... Like, feed log. I was like, what is this? Day... Day 31? What the f... <laughs> and then I started looking. I'm like, oh, okay. These are all the thingies that you feed them. And, like, if you feed them certain thingies, then... It, like, changes the stats and the colors and whatnot. And I... <laughs> Your chocobo is starved and not. <laughs> I don't remember if that could happen. I don't remember if that was a thing or not. That, that sounds like a Final Fantasy XI thing. Like, I'm gonna be honest. There's there's some pretty brutal stuff in Final Fantasy XI where they're just like... And you failed. And you're like, what? <laughs> uh, I remember one of the quests... Hey, zombie! <laughs> Uh, one of the quests that I was working on had to be a very particular moon cycle and it was like it was like the shrine of the moon and it only opened up uh, if somebody had already done the quest and apparently I guess a lot of people just hadn't done the quest because I'd asked around and like nobody had like the thing to get there or on a very particular moon cycle in game that happened like once a fucking month <laughs> And Nick and Chad, I think, remember this because they were they were wanting to hang out, and I'm like, guys, the moon cycle is about to come up. I can't, I can't, I, I can't miss this because <laughs> it was like impeding my story progress uh, that I was trying to work on. <laughs> but it was crazy. You had to like, because it wasn't just like a particular moon cycle. It had to be a particular moon cycle, and the weather had to be clear. Which apparently those two things only again line up like once a month. Like, a real-life month, and you're like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it was the worst of times. It was the best of times. About time for a rest. <laughs> Physical champion. What a coincidence. She was, like, my main. I played so much Anivia whenever I, like... Really first got into League of Legends. She was also kind of like bustedly strong back then, so it may be a correlation there. <laughs> we have arrived at the wormhole. Everyone is to report to the bridge immediately. Right then. Guess we ought to check out what this wormhole's all about. Time to head for the bridge. To the bridge! Come to think of it, uh, how does one use a wormhole? It's not the same as warp, right? There should be a Scorpium space-time stabilizer affixed to the edge of the wormhole. Okay. How do you affix something to a wormhole? That's a good question. Ah, that thing. 
There it is. We need you to access it and send the code in the specified format. I should do it? Can you do it, Elena? I will try. <laughs> what is it, huh? <laughs> coordinates to screen. Acquiring destination. Sending. Oh man, the wiki to determine what the play order. Preparations are complete. You may now enter the wormhole in conventional space. Yay! All right. Keep the thrusters at half power as we head in. Entering the wormhole at half thrust. <sighs> well, that sent a chill down my spine. Man, if we can start what? jumping through Doom space it all like work this, there. we wouldn't even need warp drives anymore. There are only five stable wormholes within the entirety of Scorpium's range in this galactic system. They do not allow for travel to unexplored space. All right, that makes sense, yeah. The warp drive is a necessary technology for the evolution of life and humanoid races. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? Hmm. The end of the wormhole is coming up ahead. What the? We're at the end? Now exiting the wormhole. And we're there. Space time huh? readings are showing major discrepancies. <laughs> Recalibrating sensors now. Did uh, we get through without a hitch? We're dead. Calibration complete. Our current position is sector beta. 713 light years from our position prior to entering the wormhole. Seriously. Long range sensors detect an object equivalent to a space colony 2.1 light years from here. This is one of the colony form Scorpium constructs and the destination of JJ. It is named Parapium. You may proceed forward. Parapium. The colony Parapium. has a Parapium. suitable space dock for entry. Parapium. So based on what that. you've said, that dock. And this whole colony is all part of Scorpium. Correct. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Well, happy, yay. Ariel, can you go wind up JJ? And uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if he was here as we go in. Understood. Okay, so chronologically, is that release order? Or is that like the time that the games actually take place? I'm assuming like a game take place. Hmm. Poor JJ. Oh, sorry, Ger Jaren Jaren. I've communicated Jigeren. with Perapium. You may use the dock or transfer if that is to your preference. A port has been opened specifically. A wild meter and mail sign appears. So no danger, right? <laughs> There's been so many meter ends lately. There is no Scorpium here who view the Aldus as an enemy. The Aldus is welcomed. There is nothing to fear. Gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty lame to turn around and chicken out at this point. Let's go, everyone. Indeed. I dare say we will be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is just kind of like, I don't know what's going on. Uh-huh. <laughs> will we ever immigrate? <laughs> Space Witchy! <Vegetarian. laughs> Nidoran mail sign. Oh! <laughs> okay. Order of the overarching story flows. Okay, 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 okay. Because I know. I, what was it? I think it was the. The crazy Japanese fighting game. Not fighting game. Oh, what's it called? Oh my god. Why am I, why am I blinking on them? They're on the Game Pass now. Uh, what's it called? A Awari Mari, Awari... Damn it, why can't I remember <laughs> Yakuza, thank you, Chad. The Yakuza series. I think that was one of those games that is, like... Also kind of weird in the order that you play it. Two point five. Two point one is five minutes. I want to spend like an hour. 
I like how Lena's like, all of our equipment couldn't detect that, so it thought we moved uh, 700 years in the future. <laughs> I could go to bed, like I should, or hang out three more hours and get in that window, which I could have a chance of getting that thing I've been trying to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely done that one. Oh, which were the two games that you platinum, uh, Lorelai? <laughs> just having a bad test from his dad. <gasps> oh. Oh? Wait, hold on. Wait, did it do a solid bro moment? Or was he, like, messing with him? <laughs> did I not catch Nitterin male sign? <laughs> Oh, hold on, from the world map. Okay, so, basically, the way that I used to do it. Okay, but now we have, like, the solar system. Okay, okay. I see. Alright, that's kind of cool. Oh, and that's, like, okay, okay. And then, like, this half of the map, instead of exploring it, we have space. I get it. Alright, that's kind of neat. What the fuck? Oh my god, your navigation can't handle your going warp. Please no. That's like terrifying, actually. Beautiful. Intriguing. So <laughs> what this happened? Is another world. Wait. Another planet. This environment was made in a planet's image, I believe. Yeah. Both ends of the terrain rise if looked at closely. I've been to this planet this before. Colony is shaped as a colossal ring. Shaped like a Bacchus? ring. But why? Most likely the rotation produces artificial gravity. The fact that we do not seem to need these devices attached to our feet proves this. Indeed. A gravity generator like those found on spaceships would be most inefficient to maintain gravity in a structure as massive as this. What is this gravity you speak of? <laughs> we really have to start from all the way there? <sighs> How can I put this in terms you would understand? Poor Albert. Let's talk about this later. Poor Albert. <laughs> what happens from here? <laughs> you will undergo an entry procedure alongside the evacuees. It is as simple as taking an image of your face. So please, put yourself at ease. Is this in any way connected to integration? I can assure you, it is not. The choice to integrate always lies with the organic life form. Scorpion will never force integration. Unless... Gotcha. Well, when in Robot Rome, do as the Robot Romans do, I guess. Unless they went rogue and evil. Hey, are you in a solo player? Uh, sorry. I mean, would you play a game of a solo with me? All right. Well, we got. Oh my God, she's a beginner. Oh no. Oh no, this poor lady. You might as well give up right now. That's right. That's right. He's telling it like it is. I'm a poor grandmaster. Digital Devil Devil Saga 1 and 2. Oh. Every fucking thing in the game. Oh, okay. And the second game was Final Fantasy 13. Was it an EC plant? Oh, was that the one that you had to uh Oh, what was it? Like the, the time tri trial chest and you had to know about all that stuff? Was that part of the platinum? Not or was bad. that just excluded from the platinum? 
I haven't done like any of the PlayStation achievements. I haven't looked into it like at all. I just know Platinum's just like basically get all the achievements, I think. I, I don't even know. <laughs> That's my assumption of what Platinum is. Okay, so that wasn't part of it. No, that wasn't 13. Oh, uh, that was... Uh, tw 12. My bad. My bad. That was 12. That was 12. No, 12 was the one that had, like, all the, the funky chests and stuff. Wait, can you gift yourself? Like, can you schedule a gift for yourself? Is Not that bad. a thing you can do? I, I thought I saw them be like, okay, so you can schedule a gift now. Time to put you out of your misery. Man, I'm good. Man, I'm good. Hello. He's buying a <laughs> Christmas <laughs> I didn't realize a solo was this fun. I assumed my performance would be shared over the network, so I was too anxious to play. Oh. Oh. I didn't want anybody else to see me play. Okay. Oh, I was hoping he was in a solo player. I wanted to hear him say something. He's kind of. Are we sure we can take this? Okay, I know it's the low settings, but he's kind of like... Oh, okay, he's got like blue eyes. Alright, for a second there, it kind of looked like he just, like, from this distance, right? He just has like, void holes for eyes. <laughs> I'm being devoid of emotion. <laughs> she needs to be... Shh, don't let her know, don't let her know. It's her greatest fear. <laughs> Wait, was he? Oh, I missed it. At ease. You will have no problems here. We register over there. Oh, oh, the elevator is just the password. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Running in place, eh? Oh, <laughs> it's a transmission. He can Welcome do whatever he wants. Are you here to integrate? Um, uh, no, we, uh... They merely wish Might to learn. Mm -hmm. They have no plans to integrate at the moment. However, as reported earlier, some of the evacuees I have brought do seek uh -oh. to integrate. Uh-oh, we're gonna make a mistake. I can feel it. Yes, sir. Their requests have been confirmed. However... Something wrong? The integration plant is operating at reduced efficiency, so there will be delays. In the meantime, any guest requiring immediate attention will be sent to the medical center. Why is the plant operating at reduced efficiency? The plant's administrative network is currently under attack by a faction of Scorpium calling themselves Centralists. Until uh -oh. we can fully eradicate their presence, it is possible they may interfere with results, hence the facility's limited output. Centralists? Under attack? Are we in danger here? <laughs> no, they are not physically present. Simply put, it is an unauthorized breach of our network. Ooh. Rest assured that all of Parapium is fortified against attacks. Well, JJ, don't turn uh, on me, buddy. So what you're saying is that no one will be hurt? Absolutely correct. Your concern Unless is you're very integrated. much appreciated. Oh, gotcha. Well, then that's fine, I guess. If a Scorpium network is attacking another Scorpium network, the schism truly exists. In any case, please be at ease and enjoy your stay in Parapium. The Scorpium network welcomes you all favorably. <laughs> the evacuees are dragged in, kicking and screaming, I don't want this anymore. You already agreed to it. You signed the paperwork. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't know, they seem like chill dudes, so this can only go, like, horribly awry. Like, something awful is about to happen. Not, like, not because they're evil, but because of, like, the other evil, right? Yeah, it's too peaceful. 
It's just a city. <laughs> Too peaceful. A normal, boring city. Yeah, see, even he knows. <laughs> consider this to be normal. Each and every single building here is as large as a keep. Yeah. I'll... Hey, JJ. <laughs> You're yeah, not really telling notice. me all those buildings and everything are scorpion. Even the benches? An astute observation. They most certainly are. Huh? Seriously? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Forgive me. I did not think you would take it seriously. I do not mean to laugh at you. <laughs> but you're still laughing. <sighs> I just don't understand it. Many from my home bore expressions similar to your own. What? They doubted whether the laughter, sadness, and anger shown by those integrated with Scorpion were actual emotions. Oh, I'm sorry. That was not my intent. Fear is an instinctual reaction to the unknown oh, they are. in all living things. No, I don't understand this city. The Scorpion we saw in the Manuk system. You. Ah, I believe I have a solution. What? Duma, what solution? Tell me, does Perapium have a learning facility? It does. Learning facility? A facility that offers a simulated experience of integration for those yet undecided in whether they wish to join the network. It allows visitors to share Scorpium's journey and experience our accumulated insight across the vast expanses of space. Aww. How interesting. Can you escort us there? Of course. Or so I would like to say. But this is also my first visit to Perapium, so I will explore it alongside the rest of you. Um, wouldn't you already be familiar with this place thanks to the network? Even after joining with Scorpion, much of this universe remains a mystery to me. Though connected to the network, there are many things I cannot learn without going through the proper effort. Yes, I suppose that's true. Aww. With the greeting, we are the Scorpion Resistance of Feudal. You will be assimilated. It's got more than I could have done to it. No, <laughs> uh, we are the Scorpion Resistance is Feudal. <laughs> Resistance is inevitable. Uh, you can choose to be assimilated. Uh, yeah, closer, closer, closer. And converting them to mindless centralist <laughs> secret agents into sabotaging the station. Perfect. Yes, Chad. <laughs> We're the destruction here. Oh shit. Oh, is there? Okay. All right. A wild pile of sand appears. Pile of sand. Alright, does that sound so Dude, that sounds like Giga Slosy. All our dreams will come true! Are we sure we can take this? Tough textile. Oh my god, dude. The, <laughs> the execution of <laughs> freaking JJ's lines it was amazing. <laughs> mm, yeah, sit on me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and because you're connected to the network, you also feel yourself sitting on me, which means you're sitting on yourself. No! <laughs> I feel conflicted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Except for me, please. I've got a plus about the Pokemon in the conversation. Don't question it. <laughs> what? 
Honestly, the ice cream cone didn't, that wasn't the one that got me. The one that got me was the pile of keys. That was the one that got me. That was my what moment. <laughs> Even though you've been out for like seven hours? Jeez, yeah. It was like me yesterday, dude. Dude, I needed that nap so bad. Sarah wasn't on to do- Oh, bunny! At present, we are commencing our research on life forms found on Aster. Would you be able to collect some samples for me? Sure. Oh, shit. We are trying to catalog life forms across multiple star systems, not just Aster. We endeavor to create an extensive database. All right, so what do you need me to do again? Oh, okay. Well, I'll find out whenever I don't open that menu. I can't even believe how huge this place is. Ha ha ha. Kafka bunny? He looks like he's wearing bunny slippers. Can the bunnies also be integrated? The, to be fair, they did say organic life forms. Oh, they already were. Doom, do, doom, 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 doom. Well, this changes everything. Why didn't he just lead with that? You can experience what it's like to be a bunny. I'm in. <laughs> Welcome to the best inn in all of. Holy Paris. shit! This dude's ripped. Look at his upper torso. That man is like all top. Welcome what the fuck? To the best. I will get, okay, that looks gross. I don't know what that is, but that looks gross. Okay, it's meant to. All right, otherworldly cuisine. Absorb 30% of damage dealt. What? <laughs> Mal <laughs> Malk was just like, sign me up. <laughs> to be the merchant of a store for them. Oh my god, dressed him for- Oh, kind of like the little Shiba, Chad. The little Shiba that would like go and get your stuff for you. You like point at it and he'd like go and get it for you. I saw that a long time ago. It was really cool. Okay, while well, above half AP, do like 50% more damage. That's really good to you. Whoa, will not flinch from damage. Unless... What the fuck? You take half your health in damage? Okay, well, to be fair, the times that we took more than half our health. Wait, this is just like an enhanced version of like an old dish. Not bad. Flash chilled pasta. Why does that sound familiar? Flash. That's chill. 44% chance to survive with 1 HP, and half damage sustained while under a quarter. Oh, dude, these foods are nuts. Do I have a food Welcome app? To the best in uh, Welcome I don't appear to. Yeah, 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 absolutely, sir. Yeah, give me that sky tart. Staying the night, then. We hope you rest well. Eh, actually, I'll say I could thought. I must say, that's less that deaths. We can't have that. Table. I was about to say, with my track record, I need that Did five, but like, well? we need we those deaths, right? Serving you again. It's more gold. Well, All right, hold on. Yeah, I made a, I made a mistake. Sorry, I'm not exactly a morning person. <laughs> She's a Kenny after all. All right, let's go. Let's go with Big Boom. Staying the night, then. We hope you. I must say. You okay, I will say though, this table. dude does look cool. He's just like way overly buff. You sleep well. We look forward to serving you again. Ready when you are. Well, I say overly buff, but Welcome. We have... I don't know. He stands out. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, we've got jeez. Why? Why are they? No, I don't need to do this again, please. Please. Okay, good. It's not like a wait. Maybe it is everybody's problem. It is everybody's problem. Okay, all right, that's fine. More buying.
A bit of the clothing and the fact that his arms seem artificial. Yeah. Hey, people, mage. How you doing today? <laughs> He's reached class, but not canon yet. <laughs> I don't know if we can. Oh shit! I already bought it. Oh fuck! No, I'm dumb. No, no! I see it. I see the inventory. No! <laughs> I should not. I just want to equip them. Ah, uh, no. Is this a body pillow? Strange body pillow that unveils a hidden power when you fight. Can fight no more. S combat sudden drowsiness. Eighty percent chance of earth. Believe counterattack when down. Chance of causing confusion. <laughs> okay, rest stagger when casting semi amancing. Before spending 20k? Yeah, 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 that, that would have been smart, Chad. Or I could have just looked at the little value right here. You see that little value to the right that says inventory 2 out of 20. <laughs> if I should check that real quick. <laughs> God, these Berserker Bengals with that food, though? Whoa! Bestowed buff effects. Wait, that's not... That's not duration, that's actually... Like... Amount. Holy. Okay, is that buffs I give, or is that buffs I receive? Bestowed buffs, bestowed buffs. I'm gonna assume it's like buffs you give out, but I can't really tell in the wording. It is hard to get a hit counter that high. Uh, Cause typically, like, whenever you start working your way up that high, the, the boss will cast something that you gotta get GTFO. We'll buy one though, for Nina. We look forward to your next. All right. Not I that I'll remember to equip it, mind you, but it's there. <laughs> Speaking of equipping, let's go take care of that right now. Okay, no. Uh, how do I flip between people? I think I have to like exit out to the screen to get there. Wait, did I equip it? Hold on. What? Oh, hold up. Did I? No, oh, yes, there we go. Okay, I only equipped the people that were in my party. Alright, that makes sense. It's like, wh hold up. Not me. <laughs> yeah, that's a level up time. Level up time because I wait so long between levels it takes that's that's the time that we spent <laughs> Uh that's a good qu what level are we? We're sixty? 
Are we getting the other ones? It's it's somewhere in like the I want to say 80s. 80s feels like about the average. Maybe 70s. I was trying to think. Ooh, that's another good question, Rose. If it's uh, stuff applied after or before. That's also not, like, really clear in the wording. Okay, show me new. Wait. <gasps> Did I already have one? No, I didn't have one. Okay, no, there it is. I didn't... Sublimation? Why is it called sublimation? Okay, alright, that's fine. <laughs> Noni! <laughs> Go to the integration plan. I guess we can just sort of take it all in as we make our way to the learning facility. Wherever that is. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find it eventually. Oh, the bunnies even- they have like unique animations amongst them too! <laughs> His little footstep noises. Wait, this guy's a clone of the other guy. Ma'am, are you? Oh, okay. I thought she was like, she was like an old lady. But yeah, no, okay, so what I found out was that the uh, the graphics card can handle uh, playing the game in high resolutions, but it can't handle playing and streaming at the same time. Because apparently, whatever reason, OBS just takes up like a ton of resources. I don't know why that is. I didn't think it'd take up as much because everybody was talking about, oh, well, it doesn't take that much to, uh, it doesn't take that much Are to actually sure run OBS. We can take this? Like, well, that was a lie. <laughs> Oh, uh, my OBS apparently is like, it, it likes taking up around like 20%. It's like 15 to 20% of the GPU, which I was surprised at. Are we sure we can take this? And uh, whenever, whenever the graphics card hits like that 100%, that's where everything just starts going to poop. Now, I, I might be able to fix that if we prioritize OBS over the game. That might be a thing I could do. Are we sure we can take this? Suppose Sac you just find a sacrificial ball's kind of boss. A wild tentacle oh, appears. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, to the learning facility. <laughs> you really don't like to see that. That is a feels bad. Are you allergic to something in it? Or is it just like... Not that type of itch. And bright red stripes. Oh my god. So, one of the character directors, uh, what was it? He did an interview. I think I linked it yesterday. And I guess he hadn't played the past games, but he had, he'd watched a lot of footage on the past characters. Which is kind of how we ended up with Ray. <laughs> Where's Ray? Because he basically... He, he was like, the hardest person to really make was actually Take Ray. Break, follow my lead. <laughs> Leave it to me. Oh, Ooh. yeah, it was really hard making real. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> We've implemented implemented ray tracing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dude, like his tech, he's bleeding like the, the stuff. Like, look, the flowers stay like after I run out of them. <laughs> Is he naked? It's his arms, his arm, like, I think his arms. <laughs> when he runs forward, it looks like a tiny little Sonic. <laughs> Gotta go first. <laughs> oh my god, my hands! <laughs> my hands are so in the power, man! <laughs> 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 Alright, camo mode. This is the glitch we live for. The funny. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> this is what big performance looks like. People say we are with our makeup. I wonder if he'll fix. Oh my god, I hope the cutscenes stay like this too. Would you like to try using the learning facility? Yes! Are you certain it's not dangerous? <laughs> it is safer than a fight simulator. You have my word. Wait, is Let that two Alberts? Or is that JJ? There is still far too much we do not know about Scorpium. That is true. And it'll get us further than asking Duma questions and getting the cold shoulder anyway. <laughs> that was great. The it's use of the learning insane. facility requires an introduction by an integrated guide. So I shall accompany you. Understood. Okay. Thank you. It is safe. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Let's go. The words learning facility conjured oh, images akin so to a library in my head, but this is... I will admit that reading texts remains an effective method of learning, but this so facility creepy. is slightly different. Oh my god, I need the whole party to start wigging out like this. Yes! <laughs> it's a bug with the dash of everything! <laughs> but did I even do- I just swapped Ray in! I was like, I wanted to show everybody like what Ray's outfit looked like. And <laughs> it was happening, that's all that I did. Oh, Ray fixed. Oh, <laughs> I want a glitched ray. In this city, you can learn many things uh -huh. that will help you to understand the concept of Scorpion integration. Ah, <laughs> uh, what do I do? Here, all integration candidates and organic life forms uncertain of integration can learn all there is to know of the Scorpion. Do not hesitate to ask questions. Which is okay, which cringe. Then. Uh. <laughs> oh shit, um, fuck. Uh, what does it require? Okay, why does Scorpion require integration? What is Scorpion? I have, uh, yeah, why does it require integration? So I hope he does too. Does Scorpion need to keep integrating with others? As a means of evolution. Evolution? Why? <laughs> that is a course. difficult question to answer succinctly. Evolution occurs naturally and is essential for the preservation of a particular species. For Scorpion, integration is a process that allows us to prosper across the universe. Integration serves to benefit both the individual and the whole, and <gasps> as a method of preserving our species. Oh, <gasps> it is! We can! To prosper, huh?
That, that's what he was alluding to. They need us for yes. procreation. <laughs> We're to make more exactly scorpion. Is scorpion. Scorpion are a collective of cybernetic life forms which are not carbon or silicone based. This is in spite of our original anatomies, which differ considerably from our current post integrated forms. Can you really call yourselves life forms? Based on Scorpium's observation of life forms with differing perspectives that have collectively formed societies, <laughs> life is defined by a group of similar organisms who share the same physical composition. Therefore, yes, we do consider ourselves to be life forms. Very, I okay. think, therefore I am energy. This music is nice. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think we have any more questions. All right, uh, yeah, unless we can ask how to... Okay, I'm hitting B, or circle. This is not... It's not letting me... <laughs> I'm not sure what else there is to ask. Let us demonstrate. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> it Please take over. The information has been updated. Huh? That red unit has apparently been collecting information on the centralists. I still have much to learn about them myself. So this presents an ideal opportunity. Try asking a question. <sighs> Okay. Oh my god, there's so many little dots. Why are there so many little dots? Are you in a solo player? Oh god, um. Are there different species within the Scorpium? Scorpium recognizes all integrated individuals as part oh, of a around? single species. Though distinctions of roles do exist within the network, due to the faculties of integrated individuals, no such distinctions are made to an individual's significance within Scorpion. I can, yeah, yeah, I can see the, the four. A lot of the Star Oceans have done a pretty good job of like integrating past music and either updating it or just like straight up bringing back some uh, some of the classics. Music is always solid. Oh, can it be undone? That's can a good you, question. Uh, Unintegrate yourself later. Of course it is. Huh? It takes time, depending on how far you've fused and integrated, but Scorpium lets anyone come and go as they please. To be honest, there aren't many who decide to give up their integration, though. I'm talking like only 10 folks a day in the whole galaxy. Wait. Just goes to show how rare it is, and how awesome people find the Scorpium network. Wait. 10 people a day? Like, is it like daily? How many Scorpium are there? That sounds like a lot. But yeah, 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 across the entire gout. That yeah, hold on, that is an important thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, how many Scorpium are there? Cause like, I'm not imagining there's like a, a million people that are integrating with some Scorpion. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> so possibly quadrillions. <laughs> Damn, okay. Alright, that's a lot. Yeah, hey, think about how much they integrate a day, right? Are there any advantages to integrating with Scorpium? <laughs> you get linked up with the super awesome Scorpium network! What more could you want? That means all kinds of knowledge and experience about this grand galaxy is at your beck and call! Oops, and just so you don't get the wrong idea... Being tapped into the network does not mean you're going to get gobbled by some big singular entity. Yes, it does. I'm still me, and you're still you. We're individuals that retain our autonomous, self-determined personalities. Only now, our network connection gives us access to a humongous store of knowledge. What a deal! I don't know who voice acted this particular Duma, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> he did great. 
Oh, here we go. How many scorpions How exist? How many scorpions are there, all told? The network recognizes connections with approximately 50 trillion 850 billion 211 million 194 thousand and twenty individual. Okay. Beings. All right. Ten a day. Distribution okay. Distribution is across the galaxy, with 2.6 million new units joining each second. Oh. Approximately. Hold on, 50 trillion with 2.6 million. Hold on. How many? The network recognizes connections with the 51 trillion. 2.6 million. Okay, hold on. Okay, we got a million. Billion. Trillion. Okay, divide that by. 2.6 million? Okay. 2,600,000. Okay, that's... That's a lot of seconds. Okay, that's... That's a lot of seconds. Wait, does that down, like, update if you talk to him again? Wait, is that based on, like, my playtime? That'd be hilarious. Okay, so this is the number of seconds it would take to reach 56 trillion at, at a growth of 2.6 million. Or was it 50, it's 51 trillion? Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> close enough. And then we divide that by 60, and then we get minutes. And then we divide that by 60 and we get hours. And we divide that by 24 and we get days. Less than a year. At that growth, it takes less than a year. So the Scorpium appear to be new? Hmm. I don't know, maybe my math was bad. I, I probably did bad math. Oh, hold on, yeah, I want to keep talking to these things. This, this is kind of neat. Oh, right. Yeah, hold on. Seven brought up a good point. I do want to know that. How many... The network recognizes connections with approximately... Okay, 194020. A wild Vivalon appears. 194020. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. It doesn't update on the fly. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, Pavilion! I wonder... Oh, they probably don't have the variations. It's, it's a lot. There's a lot of variations. That would be a lot to code. For a Twitch game. Alright, what we got? We're rolling to the Duma play. Ooh, are there any criteria? So, what role do the Duma play in all Wait, this? Wait, they do have the variations? When Scorpion Network determines that its current evolutionary path has stagnated, it sets out in search of new organic life forms to help spur along the evolutionary process. With Duma, the network is able to blend into and observe societies without arousing suspicion. After observing various societies of people and incorporating itself into their daily lives, if the network's knowledge expands exponentially, guess what happens? Hey, let's World domination. join hands and integrate, we say. I'm getting a little creeped out. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm getting a little creeped out. How do you determine with who or what you can integrate with? Anyone who wishes to integrate is able to, in principle. And depending on the subject's condition prior to integration, 
The process can be performed in stages, up to the desired point of integration. Reminds me of useless goddesses' call. For integration call. candidates who come to Parapium, <laughs> it will take at least a day and up to a week to complete the process. Conversely, when research probes are sent by the network to seek new paths of evolution, they analyze groups of prospective lifeforms and provide feedback to the network in regards to those who can contribute towards evolution. And the entire network then weighs in on the final decision. Was I able to satisfy your curiosity? Yes. <laughs> uh. Um... Hot sauce, custard, busker gas, bumbleberry, bulgogi, paper, oh. hologram. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Lipstick bulldog, entropy celery, pig and piggy. <laughs> pig and piggy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait, is there anything here? Wait, can I talk to JJ? Oh, I can talk to JJ. The Red Duma has been continually gathering important data on the Centralists. If we inquire, it may have new information for us. <laughs> this one's nosted. <laughs> no, I like the new word. <laughs> It fits him, cause he <laughs> hot dog water burger, huh? <laughs> okay, no secret chest. <clears throat> Fair enough. <laughs> uh. So what's the deal with these centralist scorpions? Yeah, so what happened with that? How was that made? network newly generated along the Scorpium evolutionary line. At present, there are 17.74 million individuals recognized as belonging to the centralists. This network shares a program cognition that endorses deviating from the traditional means of Scorpium evolution. Our analysis is still underway, but for those who seek to integrate with the aforementioned group, we warn the network has reached a consensus that affiliation with the centralists is not recommended. We continue to gather information on the matter. Now that I've learned a bit about the centralists, I should talk to JJ get out of here. <laughs> they are evil. We are good. <laughs> <laughs> We've determined they are the big stink. <laughs> Have you heard enough? I think so. I think so. Yeah, my head is spinning. Well, my lack of knowledge of many of the basic concepts meant I only grasped half of what I heard. Am I correct in assuming that well, the Centralists are a faction that has emerged within the network and brought about infighting amongst the Scorpium? A state of internal strife should never be possible in the first place. Ah, you're really hung up on that, aren't you? If the Scorpium are living beings, then it's totally possible that they'd fight amongst each other. The origins of Scorpium as a life form lay in seeking out and sharing the potential for all manner of evolution. If factions or contradictory ideas were to arise, the conflict itself would be shared to nourish further evolution. That is Scorpium. This evolutionary prospect would then have been pruned as an issue with the fundamental algorithm. Yet this evolution has come to pass, so is it truly impossible, little Duma? It should be. Honestly, I feel the same as Duma. This Duma is disconnected that is why from the Duma the network. actions of these centralists are all the more puzzling. Or is the other Duma the one that is disconnected? Those at the integration plant feel the same. What could Bulldor and the others be hoping to achieve in 
becoming Centralist Scorpium. What was that? From outside! Ooh, okay. Yeah, they could. Im impossible. A centralist attack? What? It's been shared on the network. Centralist Scorpion are forcing their way into Perapium from the dock. Ugh. It appears Perapium itself is under attack from outside. That's... Oh god, we're reaching like fourth level of flake. That's the Astoria! It frickin' shenanigans us here? No, <gasps> it is going in that direction. He said frick! to the integration <laughs> plant. Could they be planning to destroy it? Ray, did you see the Astoria? Just now, yeah. Looks like it's headed for the integration plant. We need to regroup. Albert and the others have moved to fight against the invading centralists to protect the citizens of Parapium. Roger that. We're gonna meet up with Elena and the others first. Let's go. Let's go. Move out. Do, 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 do. Oh, I want that ditty as a sound effect. There's so many places it could be used. Call the rain. Hold on, why are these? Oh. We cannot handle. Okay, we fighting? Wait. Wait, what happened to our other party members? I think I zoned out there at the wrong time. Like the worst to carry out an invasion? That wouldn't surprise me. Guess they don't care about rolling out the Duma if they're invading their own kind and not another planet. Either way, there's no doubt the Astoria has been closely tied with the Central for a long time now. But Man, I do look that way. There is much we do not know about this planet. The network is conducting a multitude of complex analyses right now, so traffic is congested. Let us prioritize reconvening with your friends. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Oh, okay, Wait. so we were the only ones that went in. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought they... You are unharmed. Oh, finally. Got tired of dawdling? So many are injured. We have to treat them fast or it'll be too late. All right, my bad, my bad. That's where I missed it. I was like, wait, I thought I thought they came with us into the the thingy, the subconscious. Oh, please don't tell me that it like freaking unequipped. Okay, good. <laughs> don't tell me it unequipped everybody. That'd be so sad. All right, let's get Nina in because Nina's always kind of like awesome to have. It's nice having a healer. All right, uh, Raymond, let's swap out for Leticia for a little bit. Let's give, let's give her some, some FaceTime, you know? Uh, Albert, you gotta take the back. Uh, okay, maybe not. Hold on. I haven't spent points on him. Uh, JK. <laughs> oh, it's like the JK. Wait, but more deaths. Hmm, hold up. The trees are mostly filled out, right? It's just, you know, just improving the abilities that we already have, we haven't done. Yeah, 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 that's what we're gonna tell ourselves. It seems my time has come. Okay, they got their equipment. Okay, we should be good. I should have saved. <laughs> Wait a second. That Scorpion miss. Marielle. They know what they are doing is wrong. Yet they... They have chosen to blindly follow orders all the same. <sighs> they have long since passed the point of reason. If 
we are to right their misdeeds, we must fight. I understand. Kick their butts. Must we all <laughs> Batting at maximum. <laughs> 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 It would seem our defense of this district was successful. Yes. Good job, team. But the fighting at the plant is still raging. Many there have yet to undergo integration and are still wholly organic. We... we have to go help the inhabitants of Parapium. I cannot let the Astoria's crimes go unchecked any longer. Even if it means facing your former comrades and superiors, Marielle. Albert, thank you. You have opened my eyes. I am now prepared to fight. He has. Any doubts are gone now. After seeing all this, it's clear that Captain Bennett is in the wrong. Precisely. The Edis needs to be avenged as well. Marielle, is it cool if I introduce Astoria's captain to my fist? Of course. <laughs> JJ. May I ask you to guide us there? Gladly. It pains me that you have all been drawn into this unfortunate conflict. The plant is vast, so I expect our opponents will be many. Make sure to prepare accordingly. Please save your game. Thanks, JJ. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. What about our Duma? Strength. Uh, yeah. Alright, not bad, not bad. This was the weird one. This is like the, the, like the biggest outlier here so far. Is the little blue guy down here. He's like the most alien out of everyone here. Pardon me, are you okay? Unless the bunny's also in on it. <laughs> we apologize for stating there was no danger in Parapium. It was our error in not accepting the concept of the Centralists and failing to synchronize with the network. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard you apologize to us. Offering conclusions regarding undefined phenomena without first gathering sufficient information and data. A wild finian appears. Is unbecoming of Scorpion. Mm. Do not trouble yourself. Many people, living beings, do similar things. <laughs> Although infrequent, even my predictions prove wrong. Hey, bud, just a heads up. Elena's throwing you a bone here. And in times like these, you say thank you instead of ignoring them. Ah, uh, you're hopeless. <laughs> You've never been to Parapium before? How about a round of a SOA for some cultural exchange? Absolutely, now is the time. A level 7 master! Ooh, okay, this will be a fight. You might as well give up right now. Damn, okay. No, I, you know, I, I just said it was gonna be a fight, you know. This is the time. <laughs> Not bad. <sighs> no, no surrounding my unit. None of that. Not bad. Oh, 
Pow, pow, pow. Not bad. What do I say about surrounding my unit? Oh, oh, that was, oh, that was so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's not good at all. Not bad. <laughs> and you go here. Wait. <laughs> What's his? Flame charge? That one's fine. Not bad. Alrighty, he doesn't have any like overwhelming pieces, so I think we just like one. Wait. Not bad. Are they trying to take that piece? The <laughs> they trying to surround the assassin? <laughs> Hold on, I want to see how this plays out. No, okay. Not bad. Ooh, who's the 139 assassin? I don't recognize that person. Misery. Man, I'm good. Man, I'm good. <laughs> All right, what we get? What we get? Hopefully, something new. That was incredible. Verda. You must be famous where you come from. I bet people buzz about you wherever you go. No, thank you though. <laughs> Verda. Okay, Gunner. Stores 5 AP when defeating enemies with 55% uh, trigger rate and 5% int. Are they wearing bunny? They're wearing bunny slippers. I don't think this is a Star Ocean character. Verda. Watch it be like Amnesis. And then, and, and Amnesis. And their guns are bunny. Wait, they are! <laughs> this is too zoomed out, I couldn't see that. Oh, there it is. Anamnesis. The Devil's Plague killed her parents. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, speaking of things. Hold up, what, what games we got? Okay, Soccer Story. The Night Witch? Alright, that actually looks kind of cool from the picture. Alright, Retro Gadgets. Dark Tide comes out on the 30th, although I think a lot of people are able to play currently. Uh, Predecessor, I haven't heard anything about that. Orphan Sky Skeep. Sky, Sky Keep. Romancing Saga. I heard good things about this in the past. I wonder how that one is. Callisto Protocol. And Burn House Lane. Oh, that didn't cover the week. Oh, this is the one Nick is uh, super excited for, Midnight Suns. He, he described it as XCOM, but with Marvel. And to be fair, that sounds pretty cool. Moonshine Inc. Need for Speed Unbound. Super Kiwi 64. Plays a little weird. I bet it's like a, a modern game made in a the old way. Okay, this Thank one I kind of want to watch. Pepper grinder. Oh, 
Oh shit, it's bullet hell. Okay. Bullet hell deck building? I gotta link this to Steven. Holy shit, I gotta link this to Steven. This looks right up his alley. Okay, this actually looks pretty cool. Dude, get a cat! You get some with a cat gun! Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure it's an enemy, or uh, a weapon. Straight rip from Star Wars 6 if you ask me. The Night Witch. Alright, hold on, let's go see. It's on Steam? The Night Witch. That's on Steam. Oh, it's only gonna be like 20 bucks? Damn, that's good pricing. Alright, let's go link that to Steven. Here we go. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if Gwen would like that. I know Gwen likes cat things, and Nick does too, but I'm not sure if Nick would like that either. I'm not sure he's a bullet hell -y type person. a scorpion admiring bunny it popped up on the left hand side there wait was it multiplayer I say. People go and play a lot of games together, so. There's multiplayer, they might do that. The Night Witch. I'm assuming it's single. Yeah, okay, single. Was that game metal? Game meat, okay. What game metal? <laughs> no me. Something down here, but Oh it's a buddy! And a chest. Exquisite. Okay, 10k full. Alright, there we go. Finally. Decent amount of full out of one of these chests. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> hey, is now a great time to play a certain game? A children's card game, perchance? I've just from my travels across the universe in search of the greatest of Soa players. Would you fancy a game? Absolutely! Oh my god, he's a Grandmaster. Wait, we can fight him! Wait! Let's this is our chance! Game. Oh my god, and then we can travel back and then beat up the, the other guy. It is time. We will prove our worth. Not bad. Play this assassin. Play the assassin. <sighs> oh damn, we're fine with 10k HP. Not bad. 
Okay, he's got flame charge instead of a people, so I think we got this. We should be good. Goodbye, Edge. Not bad. You're brought down to four thousand five hundred life points. Now we'll cast my Dark Magician Girl in attack mode. Not bad. And end my turn. Or better yet, Bacchus in attack mode. <laughs> oh. Oops. Not bad. Made a sleep fucky wucky. An oopsie boopsie. Hold on, if I. Can I play that in the center? No, okay. Bacchus, yeah! He's right over there, he's the 129 gunner. Unlike the middle of the board over there. Not bad! I'm mixed mashing. <laughs> Time to put you out of your misery! Man, I'm good! Man, I'm good! There we go, we're Grandmaster. I think we can go beat up the old man now. Or get beat up by the old man, I guess it would be the... I've visited planets far and wide, but have never come across <laughs> a player as skilled as you. That was my bad. That was my bad, Arkla. Can I help you? <laughs> what, you don't remember the Bacchus card? <laughs> Exquisite. Ooh, who haven't we caught Ready. somebody with... Oh. A wise choice. Do we have a JJ? No, oh, okay. Uh... Albert should be fun. Rest it's assured, hard. I will see this done. I cannot stay mad at you. <laughs> You're so cute and fluffy and adorable. Trust this riffraff to me. A wild Sunkern appears. Sunkern! Wait, is that below me? Above me. Above me, okay. Sunkern. Bunny with a powerful voice. Quiet bunny. We got separated a mist. Sick father with a disguise. I'm just checking my mini map. <laughs> No worries, people. <laughs> and even if I was planning to jump, I have the Duma. <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Take that jump! Take that jump! Take that jump!
<laughs> I'll be okay anyways, there's no fall damage. <laughs> Now jump! Please remain calm. No! I'm gonna panic! I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Okay, that's the integration point. That's where it wants me to go. That's like the exact opposite way of where I'm going, but I also don't know how to get to the integration point. Oh, you know what? Let's just let's just follow let's follow the little arrow. We got what we came for, and that was the Asoa Master. Let's save speaking of. It would be a shame if I lost my Grandmaster title. It doesn't let you jump off. Oh wait, is this teleporters? Oh, okay. That construction there is the integration plant. Not even I could tell you what awaits inside. Prepare yourselves for anything. That's mildly concerning, JJ. What's up? I was hoping it was going to be Exodia. Alright, so we had like one death there. How you doing today, bunch of stuff? You, are you here for integration? This is the first time no. that kind of Scorpion has spoken to us. Perhaps it is best we play along for now. Yes, that's right. We came here to integrate. The plant seems to be in a bit of an uproar, though. Did something happen? The Parapium plant is now under centralist control. If you wish to integrate, it is absolutely essential that you swear allegiance to our cause. I see. So our word will be trusted by you even before we attempt to integrate? Do not <laughs> overthink your decision. Do you pledge allegiance to the Centralists or not? <laughs> Answer. Mine is so impossible. Being there super is sussy. Only one requirement for organic life forms to integrate with Scorpion: the desire to do so. You're a Duma. You speak our language, but you lack any ability to think on your feet. Death to those who defy the Centralists. <laughs> Eliminated. 
The new game mode is right, really hard. So I guess we just gotta bust the skulls of whoever's messing with stuff here as we go. That should do it. But I expect there to be a number of security authentication points along the way. I suggest we leave those to Duma. Right, that sounds like a plan. Target sighted. Chat over there getting paid to play. <laughs> Work slow. Now was a good time. You playing the new game mode, Chad? Is everyone prepared? I think aspects of the character are in game mode. Acceleration. Oh, that does sound pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't played any of the new game mode. I haven't really seen too much about it either. I have no idea how it works. Oh, the new gunfire game mode, Chad. Are you playing it? I don't know what to call that. Call it by that. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. Oh, there's a crane up there. What is it? Capacitor. It's like a whole upper level. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, oh, what's up there? There's more secrets. Threat detected ahead. Down below. <laughs> Who's shooting that? It's gotta be. It's gotta be Melchior shooting the ray. Exquisite. Okay, fewer goblet assumption. Sanctions. Bloody builds are super hard to make work. Gun focus is key for most characters. There aren't reincarnation keystone abilities that let you stack damage from the beginning. Oh, okay. It did look like a Smash Bros. death, didn't it, Rose? <laughs> it's just like out we of the floor. We don't have the security level yet. We should. We will need maximum security clearance to get through here. We will have to return. To the... Right when we're almost oh. guaranteed to find something too. No choice, but we're following up the security chain. Let's move this beast. More than you deserve. Ow. Secure. We're gonna work our way up the security chain, which means we're probably gonna start from the lower floor. Wait, are these Peruchis? Oh my god, they are. <laughs> Hear me out! <laughs> Oh, miracles. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Threat detected ahead. I never imagined they would have infiltrated so deeply. Might be worse than we thought, but we still gotta move. Did we still talk in combat? <laughs> Some people are afraid of interrupting, so I need to try. Is oh, and she did. Damn, JJ. Holy 
He's hitting for like 3k! Welling up from within me. Okay, they do still talk in combat. All right, good, good, good. All right, deft hands plus wild hunt combo on bird. Put in a little de delay with the light, huh, so you can't aim fully rapid fire. Oh, did they? Oh, did they, does that, did they at least buff it so that it's, it's a little bit better than it was? Because that was like the, the way to make that gun like really work, from what I remember. Oh no, this is a maze too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This one probably connects to that one. Oh, it in fact did not. Poison the new game mode. Excuse me. What's this? Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. I really wish I'd read that second page, but that's okay. Yeah, sure. Initiating hacking sequence. There it is. There it is. <laughs> At least it didn't take out my most important part of this time. Wait, hold on, can we... Hold on, I bet we can't perform... Okay, yeah, we can't perform fast though. I see... Oh, uh, hold on. We might be able to perform that. Let's try. Nope, can't even do that, okay. So no limit break. Okay, what, what does that mean? How do we do that? Over here? Am I to understand correctly we are stuck here due to one of those security points you mentioned? That would be my guess. We'll need to search for a device to let us through. Let's go. Oh. Will this let us get through to places we couldn't before? It appears so. We should return to the lobby on the first floor and see. Okay, all right, thank you. Yeah, I accidentally skipped past the, the important dialogue box there. A wild carablast appears. What a find! What is that? What's a carablast? That sounds cool. Oh, it's the little mug dude! <clears throat> oh, you have to do a mid fight? Okay. Ooh, yeah, I actually don't know what his typing is. Oh, right, y'all couldn't see earlier because I have it on screen capture. Oh, right, I'm dumb. I feel stupid now. Y'all couldn't see what I was talking about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Someone over here trying to show up stuff. Y'all can't see you. <laughs> But I knew that was gonna bite me in the butt. I'm over here like I had the Opera browser open. I was looking at the new games that are coming off. I had it on the main monitor, trying to show it off to y'all. Like, <laughs> y'all couldn't see it, so y'all just like, what you talking about, Grace? <laughs> I forgot I was doing game capture to see if it uh would be better, but I, it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, all right, back to back to the monitor couch. There we go. <laughs> what y'all doing, Grassy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So earlier, right, I had <laughs> I was showing off that character. Uh, this one. 
I was showing off this character, and then uh, I went over here and explored this, the little this thingy, and then I watched the the Night Witch trailer, and y'all. <laughs> no, you weren't showing off. Uh, seven. Oh, oh. Yeah, so whenever I'm like, oh wow, that's really cool, nobody could see. <laughs> yeah, so this game, right? <laughs> what? Oh, I guess I gotta put my mouse on the. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Eggy 7. Alright. Yeah, so this game looks pretty cool. Eggy 7. <laughs> I completely forgot because I was, I was like, okay, yeah, let's test out the, the game capture because the game capture still captures the VFX. So it's, it's like similar, but you can't see whatever I drag my browser over. Peggy 7. No, I, I completely did not realize Arkwood until just then. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, the cat's resolving. Okay. The cat is one of the weapons. This one's single player. I had to go check that. But it looks like a bullet hell. I don't know if it was roguelike or not. I guess it would be because of the deck. So it'd have to be like roguelike. Okay, now we'll go back to the entrance. Get ready to fight everyone. Stand back. We got this. <sighs> Oh, hello? What a find! We got a bowman! Oh, what's he do? He could be huge. Alright, we didn't get to play as this guy as, uh... in our playthrough. The bowman was pretty cool. Alright, 25% factor effects when using items. Okay, so I'll increase the item usage. Take that. They don't look like friendly. Oh, you're all surprised. Nice. Goodbye. Destroy. Oh, yo, this tank. Oh my god, against like weak guys? Alright, that's pretty good against weak guys. Are we sure we can take this? They hit the ground before it blew up. These are so good. Balance is so good. I oh, which one was my shotgun? It's, I think it's like one of, one of the tab buttons. Yeah, this is definitely a place that we can train if we need to. Didn't mean to do that. All right, what do we do? What? 
Fuck you in particular! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That was cool. Oh, we snuck up here earlier. We weren't supposed to be here that at that point. What's so another one's hand thing? Unless that's our okay, I think that's our authentication. Target sighted. Okay, that's another authentication thingy. Are we sure we can take this? Physical stim. <gasps> Wait, if we increase the, the factors the of EV the physical videos stim. In GoTube chat. Did you see the Flarian? No, I haven't yet. I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten the chance to watch them yet. I saw you post them, but I haven't gotten to watch them yet. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Initiating. That's a fair and, and you know <laughs> reasonable response. Holy shit! Oh my god! They want to fight, but they got. Oh, they have like no HP. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 she wants it done like now. Holy, okay. <laughs> Let's make our way to the second floor of the left. Okay, second floor. And the Yampir tier. Isn't Yampir the, the mask? The ghost mask Pokemon? We don't have the proper security level yet. No. Oh. We should figure that out first. All right, fair enough. Wait, but it tells me to go there. Hello? Okay, no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Alright, which one am I? One? Okay, I don't know which one I'm thinking of. Pokemon. Imp here. Oh, that little guy. Okay, the sword shield. What's his evolved form look like? Oh! Look at him. I've only ever seen his uh, unevolved form. Okay, we can't go there either. Okay, so go back to the second floor. Well, the second floor. Maybe we need like the other sides. There's a right. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no end to their numbers? The more they group up, the more we can take out at once. Let's make this quick. Okay, we'll get on the way back. Target sighted. Just 
sure. Initiating hacking sequence. Where's the thingy? So the goal it looked like was just to kill them, but like, uh, if you killed them all, then they also spawned in more. So it's just like keep them at bay, and then until uh, Duma finish the hack. A wild Velosim appears. <gasps> Charge complete. Oh, do I have any? Oh fuck! I want to chance it. I want to chance it. I want to chance it. Oh, Poke catch. Cherish ball. I gotta try. Prage. Believe. The enemy falls near. No enemies here. Which Cherish do increases the chance of shiny. But uh there's like different tiers of cherish ball so mine's gonna have like a poopy chance to catch so i have to catch it <laughs> and if i catch it there's increased chance <laughs> but only if
Also, like ultra cherish balls as well. Got a couple of doors the other day. Those were cool. Didn't catch any shinies though. No, no luck. What's wrong, Kyo? Oh, we swore that. Swap to her. That'll that'll help. That'll help. I get the main screen if it was, right? Holy two bomb grave! Come on. 
that one lasted a while. Are I'm getting that initial sure blindside hurt. Run right in here. Alright, oh, so a sound. Beat the title screen? That's where they typically are. Sometimes it'll be like in a post game thingy. Be here? Raymond? No. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, I was just curious if we could find it. New game play related data. Okay, no, that's not it. Hmm. Okay, so it's either going to be on the main screen. Security level yet. We should figure that out first. Huh? Target sighted. How do we not have that? Oh wait, is the other side? Oh, maybe it's the other side. Pretty sure this is where we came from. There's a invisible port on the floor that charges them. Children I don't have children. They are a lot of work. Do I have to wash all those dishes every time they you? <laughs> every time they you. <laughs> are we sure we can take this? <laughs> Yeah, the shotgun's very strong, but it also takes up like half of my full AP bar. <laughs> but it's very strong. Target sighted. <laughs> that was a lot of dishes for one meal. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised at how quickly the dishes can pile up. Did you clean this stuff the uh, that got dirty from cooking as well? Or was it just like the dishes from the meal? Initiating <laughs> you gotta find terminal. Right here, okay. Fuck! 
Yeah, I haven't seen, like, like there's been references to Feather Folk and whatnot, but I haven't seen any Feather Folk yet. They got the cat girls. The enemy faction took all the cat girls. The monsters. Yeah, so the enemy faction just seems to be I like not a hobo one. I aim a six but I'm playing it. Sixty nine. How you get some <laughs> <laughs> She tried her best. Good job, Peggy. Uh, but so this faction that broke off from the initial faction of uh, Scorpions, uh, they seem to be evil. They're just like, so like the the one rule for the original Scorpions was that like, okay, so the organic life form that they're attaching to, they have to like give consent, and you know they can they they basically have free will. Uh, but this this offset faction called the Centralists. Uh, they don't abide by that rule. They're just like taking people over They're taking things and people over For no regard for how they feel Which is like the big no-no rule amongst the scorpions Sound, character sound, okay. Uh, title? Maybe we unlock it post game. System? No. A wild no. floatzel appears. No. Floatzel! there play the game's license it's not gonna be there no I guess we don't we don't got it yet Kyo. maybe maybe post game maybe it's like an unlock feature for beating the game they've done the past it could happen again oh what is this what the fuck why are there like pods? What is this? The integration processing plant. Those you see here are in the very midst of integrating with Scorpium. Mm-hmm. Please don't tell me they will all be centralists. Yes. If the principles of Scorpium are existent, the choice to be a centralist or not will be left up to each individual. Therefore, it is impossible to determine whether those in the midst of integration will be friend or foe. Yeah, great. Look at the scale <laughs> of this operation. Nodders. So, uh, is this particular integration plant special or something? Or are all of them this big? Out of all the many plants, this one boasts the largest Cybermind integration capabilities. Cybermind integration? Cyberint gives me the creeps. Though standard integration, like my own, requires the consent of the organic life form, it will still be joining in a subordinate role to the core cybernetic life form. This is the main reason why integration with Scorpion is often perceived as invasion. The wills of both the organic life form and Scorpion persist in a state of coexistence. The cybernetic and organic life forms merge anatomically and become dependent upon the body for self subjectivity. The integrated being.
can then connect the electrical signals of its own brain directly to the network. This is in contrast to CyberMind integration, in which the organic life form is the core and subjectivity is not dependent on the body. Subjectivity is not dependent on the body? Huh. So it would be similar to me diving into cyberspace and inserting my own identity program into a computer I had hacked. Similar, but not the same. In the situation you describe, the subjective data you produce is being linked to a limited body located in the physical world. The subjectivity of an individual post cybermine integration exists within Scorpium Network. It connects and merges with the entire network while maintaining its subjectivity and sense of self. The only situation where an individual requires a physical body is when it wishes to interact with the material world. By its very nature, Cybermind integration incites new evolution within the network. Oh. But would that not require the brain functions of the organic life form to be converted in their entirety? There is no cause for concern. Even standard integration like that of JJ can be said to apply a certain level of Cybermind integration in the way it allows connection to the network. Conducting Cybermind integration generally requires that the individual have already undergone standard integration. As such, the progression to a complete and full state of digitalization is not an overly taxing procedure for the individual. <laughs> You'll be fine! Uh, I can't follow any of this at all! Uh, what is this, this digitalization, really? Poor Nina. Mm, how can I explain this? It's sort of like turning the inside of your mind into a machine and replicating your soul there. I guess. I'm not sure how it works either. Th that's... But why go so far? From our perspective, that person would no longer be human. But the soul remains the same. And by retaining that sense of self within Scorpion Network, only then can one say they have achieved Cybermind integration. <sighs> What would Captain Bennett want with a place that's capable of all this? Well, it looks like we'll just have to go ask the Astoria crew directly, won't we? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so the soul... The soul still exists in the cyber network. So, like, the data that can... He can roll his foot, like, really well. Look at JJ right now. Oh, and he put his foot down. That was impressive. Transcendence movie. I haven't actually seen that one. Oh, JJ is actually a callback to a previous character. He does share a few similarities with, like, Bacchus. Like... So it sounds like this character and Bacchus both got their original bodies destroyed, but in Bacchus's case, it wasn't so much like the Scorpion that he integrated with. He just literally took his body and put it inside of a robot, basically, uh, so that he could continue his uh, his mission. And JJ is similar in that case, in that he uh, he combined with the Scorpion so that he could continue with his purpose with his mission. But in this case, there's like an entire other being attached to him. So I wonder what happens or if you can like back out after you've you've had so your cyber mic, right? If you if you do the cyber mind integration, can you can you undo that? Cause so far they've been talking about it's possible to like undo the integration. The 
We're moving into the deepest levels. Not even I could tell you what we might find from here on. Although it's kind of crazy how much JJ does and does not know. Like, they talk about how much knowledge that they can share, but we don't... We lack so much. It's kind of crazy. Oh, he plays Rudolph from Fire Emblem? And you were literally just playing that. Not bad. Dude, JJ's voice actor. Holy. How was it? J Price? James Price? Was that what it was? How you like the Fire Emblem, by the way? Jameson Price. There we go. Yeah, he plays a lot of stuff too. There's so many like prominent voice actors in this one. I'm impressed. Hold on, okay, so we're at like 0 0.1, 0 0.8 time to render the frame. Alright, I'm flipping over to the game capture. Okay, 0 0.1, 0 0.7 after it like adjusted. I just gotta remember to flip back over to uh the other. Hold on, let's go see how the how, it, how much of a difference it makes on the graphics. The GPU side of things. Alright. Going back to monitor capture. Alright, going back to game capture. about the same. Oh, I guess y'all can see that difference. <laughs> but you can't see, you can't see how much the performance is because it doesn't show that. And it's gone. Yeah, they seem to be about the same performance wise. Uh, I don't know if it makes a difference on the rendering side of things. So that's something that you guys will have to let me know because I can't actually see a preview of what. Oh, it looks like when it's uploaded to Twitch. Until I go look the VOD. I think even the VOD is like a different from the actual stream render. Captain All right. Bennett. Now we get to find out why Captain Bennett is an asshole. There you are, Mariel. I knew you'd come. Hostile fused Scorpion unit has been detected. Uh -oh. What? Okay, so he is. This man has completed integration. Stay on guard. No. What? But when? When did you integrate with Scorpion? A life-changing 15 years back. Fifteen years? Yes, though time has flown by. What happened here on Parapium today will forever change the fate of the Scorpion and the Pan-Galactic Federation. What are you talking about? The only thing that you've accomplished is hurting so many people! I doubt it's anything a little girl from an undeveloped planet would understand. But I'll fill you in. Dude, that hat is ridiculous. Today, our sovereign has obtained a tremendous power. One that will alter the course of history for all of Scorpion. I am beyond proud to have been party to its acquisition. <laughs> People's pretty the universal. Fate of the Federation. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation alongside the Centralists. Just like you did with Captain Curtis and the Bella Gulf. <laughs> you fail to understand a thing. 
Curtis is the one who turned his back on the Federation. Now most of the Pangalactic Federation forces serve under our sovereign. You might even say the Federation is the centralist scorpion. We will wield the military might of our sovereign and the scorpion to expand our from here on. Such is the path to glory for the Federation, for all life in the galaxy. If you spew any more crap in my ears, you will be a plunger. What is that? I normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm gonna let you guys run amok and trample over other people's lives. As a Vergaldian, oh, there's but no way I'm gonna let any of that happen. How dare a hooligan from Oh, some this is Gigabad. Oh. The will of our sovereign. No, 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 cancel. Oh my god. Before the power his excellency has bestowed upon me. Oh, he's firing, he's firing. Spoken like a real infomercial scuzzball. Consider this payback for what you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Alright, thanks, Q. <sighs> okay. Did to the Edis! Nina, get up. Thank you. What is this fucking bullshit? Oh, and I don't have the Giga food. What the fuck? Don't let your kids watch it. What <laughs> you shit? Holy fuck, dude. Okay, so we need to get in the air. Like, that that's step one. Step one is getting in the air. We we need somebody to, like, jump in the air. Step two... A wild Phoebus appears. Phoebus! Give it lots of love. And make it beautiful. Alright, step two. <laughs> I think you like the A-team in here? Let us bring an must. end to this. Holy shit. Me? Got you covered. Right, let's get that. If you spew any more crap in my ears, I'm gonna need a plunger. What? I normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm gonna let you guys run amok and trample over other people's lives. As a Vergaldian, there's no way I'm gonna let any of that happen. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. This is terrifying. Alright, so the resurrection unit only affects one, right? Backwater planet, not the will of our oh, death. Unless we do that. Oh no, so that before the power his excellency has bestowed upon me. Spoken like a real infomercial. Little scuzzball. Consider this payback for what you did to the Edis! Okay, so it is- it is AoE. I have no idea how many guys we're at. I'm gonna be honest. Join the Astoria crew under our sovereign. Lost your mind! 
I would rather die than end up like you. That should be a way. Here is the Kenny family line. Oh, I lined up with her. Are you not Scorpion, you brute? Why do you deny the I will of the Sovereign? I, I have to like equip them with very specific abilities. With an equal connection to the network, not servants. Your nation is incompatible with ours. Then your kind shall perish once our Sovereign controls the network in its entirety. Oh, okay, air attack was not the way there. Please don't be attacked, please don't be attacked, please don't be attacked, thank you! Okay, so we can destroy the laser arms. Okay, 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 yeah, 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 so we're supposed to like, target specific points on it. Battle Nina, story, huh? Battle Nina, Seems like does whatever Battle Nina does. The ship for your own. Your cognitive function stuck on the loading screen, bolts for brains. You're going down, buddy, and not in history. Oh, I just teleported everyone in that. Oh, that's so bad. All right, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. We kill no. <laughs> Why is Nina doing like a thousand damage? <laughs> it did like so much damage. Tink, tink, tink. Oh, that's his hair! Oh my god! Impossible! I'm sorry, my sovereign. Who is the sovereign? Is it a high ranking Federation officer? <laughs> Why not integrate with the Scorpion and find out? The network will tell you all you wish to know about our sovereign <laughs> and more. No, GG, is that true? No. Though I may die, my memories, myself, Anything? This unit's information was lost. No! Isn't there anything we can do? The central information system of this facility may be able to conduct a search. The probability is high. Though a centralist, he was still Scorpion. Authentication successful. We shall now search for and acquire the necessary data. This will require some time. Is there anything I can do to help? You? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? As this system is incompatible with Virgoldian Android specifications, we recommend instead that you assist using the touch interface. Understood. Holy shit, look at the fucking hacker mans. Information acquired. 
We have established that the unit bearing the concept of Sovereign is a top-ranking officer at Pan-Galactic Federation Fleet Headquarters. The previously unthinkable concept of a Scorpion leader first emerged 15 years ago. This aligns with the time Bennett was integrated. A high-ranking officer? Who the hell could it be? This is Ray. Ant, what's going on? Shit's hit the fan, Ray. You need to get back to the Aldus now. We're going back home. The hell are you saying? We don't have time for that, right? A large fleet of Federation ships are on their way to Vergold as we speak. Yeah, he wasn't joking. Vergoldian Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Emergency evacuation orders have been issued to all ships in the area. This is a full-blown invasion. And Ray, the commander of the invading fleet, is Remington Kurtzman, the most bloodthirsty bastard in the Federation. What? How can they? They didn't even make a declaration! Antonio, this is Elena. Did you just say Kurtzman? I did. Why? He is the one. Huh? When referenced against this data, it is irrefutable. Captain Bennett left for his post on Veer 15 years ago. His direct Wait, so superior Kurtzman's the big bad guy? Was Remington Kurtzman, who is now commander of fleet headquarters. Incredible. Wait, there's no freaking way. With this much evidence, I'd say it's certain. I can't believe it. I want to say it isn't true, but... Commander Remington is the Sovereign. <laughs> Once you're ready to go, get back to the Aldus. We need to leave as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think I think it's like so, something like that. <laughs> hey Sir Gelatin's Skeleton. Yeah, I have. I feel like I should know who Kurtzman is, but I have no idea who Kurtzman is. Oh, wait, shit, we have a glossary for that. Let's go find out. <laughs> Here's Haynes. Emerson. Kurtzman around here? Okay, judging, I think, I, I haven't seen it. Have you guys seen it? Wait till we put our hands on you. Okay, they never explained it before this. All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Literally. <laughs> I don't know. It, I mean, like, you know. Mariella was was concerned. She's like, oh, I know who that is. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine? The head pooba. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, not Emerson. No, Emerson wouldn't well, I mean Emerson probably might get taken over by like some hostile robot but like you wouldn't willingly get taken over yeah he's the the fleet commander I believe they called him which I'm assuming is the head honcho
I, I actually have no idea how the military rankings work, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty ignorant on that Enemies. myself. Okay, so it wasn't that way. There's gotta be this way. True, we can't remember, we can't rule that anyone. Gotta remember the previous star actions. It could be anyone. It could be me. It could be you. Albert, don't die. All right, get that. Ah, crap. <laughs> Come here. I think. Get an antagonist, and you get an antagonist. You're gonna have two antagonists. You're gonna have three antagonists. That's impressive. That's impressive considering how many other entries there were, especially for like the Anim Anim Anamnesis characters. Maybe, maybe it's to avoid spoilers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's it. You know, they don't want to. They don't want to give it away. They don't want to give it away. Military <laughs> rigs are determined by how long their grandstanding is before you stop them. <laughs> okay, Emerson would totally integrate with Scorpion if she were hot enough. All right, that's a fair counterpoint. <laughs> Enemies, dead ahead. That, that is a fair oh, counterpoint. A wild mighty bot appears. Stay on guard. <laughs> Ooh, surprise attacks. You do so much damage in the surprise attacks. Ladybug. Do I want a ladybug? I don't not want a ladybug. All right, let's go poke catch him. We can throw a pokeball. <laughs> You're such a non-enemy. You don't even get a wiki page. Sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, the hair is, hair is like super bouncy, super floof. Gotta figure out what products to use. <laughs> well, Albert would be like, oh, we just use mud where I come from. And Tissy just gives him like a really weird look and it, it just like looks at me and like, no, we, no, we don't. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's just him. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, his hair looks great, so I can't, you know, we can't fault him. Oh my god, her ponytail. The ponytail was amazing in the cutscene. It, like, it, it's flowing, like, pretty normally here. Kind of, kind of what you'd expect. But, like, in that one cutscene where it was just kind of like... <laughs> I don't speak of <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. How do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? Alright, so that was kind of there. Okay, so it's gotta be up here. Or down there. No, this is it. Okay, cool. 
Queens. All right, save. Because the last boss fight was very scary. Winnable, but like mini res is going on. Flashbang! Ah! Ah, oh, man, hold on. They better not think we're somehow connected to the people behind the attack. Oh, they do. Do not concern and we are. yourself. I have already taken the liberty of sharing what happened inside the plant. JJ. Yes. Understood. We will go there at once. Thank you, everyone. Please excuse us. Were you speaking to them I love how you can now? tell when he's downloading or uploading. They were in a rush to investigate the plant. So we exchanged information via the network. <laughs> they requested that I share what I saw as someone actually present at the scene. Captain Raymond, you and your group are going to Vergald now. Correct? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. I take it you have affairs of your own, which you must attend to? I sincerely apologize <gasps> you know? that I am unable to do anything to repay you all for protecting my comrades. Did you please join us? It was our pleasure. Think nothing of it. We were able to learn a great many things, thanks to you. Did you please? Without you. We would have been fighting the Scorpion with little to no understanding of what it even was. And thanks to you, we were able to uncover Captain Bennett's... the Federation's... crimes. I am truly grateful. This experience of reaching a mutual understanding with non-integrated beings will prove useful to Scorpion's evolution. I wish luck on the Aldous crew. If you should ever visit Perapium again, the Scorpion Network <gasps> will welcome you with open arms. Nina's kind of doing Farewell. it too now, now that I look at it. I wish you good health. Hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, Mariel's definitely much further out. This Remington attacking Vergold. He's linked to the Scorpion, right? It's got me thinking how there's still way too little we know about Scorpion ourselves. Uh, Ray? That is true. It would definitely be beneficial if JJ was able to come with us. Perhaps he may even be able to communicate with the hostile Scorpion. Hey, Ant. Uh, just sit tight for a while. I'm gonna try and negotiate for an additional crewmate to come aboard. <gasps> Hurry it up, guys. We don't have a lot of time here. We get Jaren Jaren. Let's go. At this point, I was I was like, damn, I guess Antonia is our final member. Are we sure we can take this? JJ, come here, buddy. Wait, is Marion wearing like CSE. jeans and a skirt? Would that be a dress? Okay, so it's like a dress and jeans. Things might not be quite back to normal, but at least we put an end to the danger this place was in. I wish we didn't have to leave just yet, but we are pressed for time. The transfer chamber should be ahead to the south. Let's hurry. Okay, short dress, right? Yeah, okay. I only saw it from the back, so I assumed it was a skirt, but then I noticed it was attached like a dress. Wait, she has jeans and high heels. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's gotta be the boots. It's gotta be the anti-grav boots. All right, so we have anti-grav boots into jeans into a, a dress. Nunes just got the really long boots into short pants. Okay, short shorts. Follow my lead. All right, Albert has what I honestly what I would expect. Really, really regal looking stuff for like a guard. And then Midas has steampunk. <laughs> I'll dress too short not to wear pants. I, I yeah, I I think you're right. We face a high probability of encountering conflict on Vergold. We should what make our way doing? back to the Aldus only after all preparations are in order. Wait, that's a merchant vessel. No, 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 no. We wanna, we wanna go say hi to our friend. We want JJ. JJ? Listen, Kyo, if, if Fiore can get away with her outfit, <laughs> then anyone can get away with her outfit. <laughs> Wait. Is it thingy? Wait, I want that thingy. Wait, how do I get that thingy? Oh, it's gotta be outside. It's gotta be like here, out here, up and around. Up, up and around. Okay, that's fine. This way? That way? Nope. Alright, bye chest. And here? Nope. Elevator? Are we sure we can take this? Okay. It's telling me to go to the Al Aldeus, so let's I guess go to the Aldeus even though? Raymond to bridge. We're departing Parapium in just a few. Head back to our original sector Wait. through the Scorpium wormhole. What about JJ? Once we're out, take us to Vergold at maximum warp. What about JJ? Understood. Come on, we gotta get to the bridge. Wait, but what about JJ? Hey, bro, the next one's over here. Uh... Where do we go to get JJ? Think play it out? Well, he made it sound like that we needed to go and talk to him in order to negotiate that we're gonna get him. Maybe, maybe it was to talk to Antonio? Hmm. Sounds. Uh, here? There we go. Okay, like all the Welsh stuff. Uh, 
Okay. So we need clear the quest insufficient materials. But I think these are like side quests. There we go. Powerful. Hey, Dragon Sharp. Okay. All right. I think we do get to do stuff. Because the this thing here says we got to clear the quest. Insufficient materials. JJ's mission. And I think we did the other Hello one. Hello think... from Deutschland. Deutschland! Hello! <laughs> How is it over there? You still you still have a good time? Having fun? Take a little bit of the Disney castle back? I mean, uh... these buildings there's a quest to turn in I think it might be in that building like up here like this one stole castle I mean taking moments with me <laughs> souvenir souvenirs that's what we call them <laughs> you see like the castle the the, the marks left from where you drag the castle away from it we are trying to catalog life forms across multiple stars. Oh, that's right. That guy wants us to do weird stuff. He's like, here, let's go research the people for me. And we were like, okay. This is what we do. We're a people pleaser. Wild fungus appears. Fungus! Is it the baby form or is it the big form? I think that's the baby form. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Boosh! <laughs> With all of a sudden you're beginning to run up, yeah. <laughs> We face a high probability of encountering conflict on Vergold. We should make our way back to the Aldus only after all preparations are in order. Vegetable loving bunny. JJ! Where are you, JJ? JJ, please! Okay, no, I can't right now. I have more important business to do than a SOA. Which is a rare thing for me, because I put off saving the day multiple times. How is Garen? Still fighting from the bushes. <laughs> he, uh, Garen did a lot of damage. He walked up and did like 3k damage. Which is almost the highest hit that I've seen. What was it like 4.5k against I think like similar mobs and then like 13k was the highest that we've seen like overall can you leave without getting JJ that's what I'm wondering because we definitely it looked like we were we were gonna take off and then she said hey we should finish any preparations that we've got here and I assume that means that we should go get JJ Garen doing Things damage. Not be quite back to Sound normal. accurate for early At game. We put an end to the danger this place was in. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to leave just yet, but we are pressed for time. The transfer chamber should be ahead to the south. Let's hurry. Ahead to the south transfer chamber. Don't you? 
here. Okay, we can recruit JJ now. I just gotta find him. Which is proving difficult. Because he wasn't any of the places I thought he'd be. Hope he can equip multiple Cap PF Suns. Cape of Suns, I mean. <laughs> Kappa Sons. There's no way he's in here. Right? The enemy's gone. Okay, they seem to be. Alright, I think I. Okay, I need to look up a different guy. This one wasn't super helpful. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to get JJ, we gotta do stuff. Hello, Mr. YouTube Man. Yes. Where's JJ? He's over there. Okay. Big circle looking cylinder thingy. Kind of like that. Maybe that's how? Kind of isolated. Okay, so he is in Parapone. Okay, so he's somewhere in here. Not in the place of the north. Although we may have to go back to the place of the north in order to recruit him. Are we sure we can take Because he needs materials for this quest. Hounds of Ganji, stop calling me. I'm not joining the Overwatch. <laughs> Unless <laughs> There's this rad group of underfed no all this that need to be. <laughs> Wait, okay, what? Okay, there's like, what? Hold on, there's two of us that aren't underdeveloped and are just from the planet, right? Oh, no! Okay, that's not it, but that's like the shape that we're looking for. That's all right. Garen He's will be joining Valorant. Back to normal. Much but better game than Overwatch. The dangerous place was in. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to leave just yet, but we are pressed for time. The transfer chamber should be ahead to the south. Let's hurry. What is Garen's weapon of choice? Swords. Okay, so he swings swords. He shoots swords. Are we sure we can take this? Shortcut? No shortcut. Okay, uh, elevator? Demacia! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, gotta leave and come back? 
It's not this building. I mean, this has got to be the main building. There's only one building left. Okay, that's not true. There's two buildings left. We face a high probability of encountering conflict on Vergold. We should make our way back to the Aldus only after all preparations are in order. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube video. Man, I remember when I first played this game. Now check out my sponsor. Now brought to you by uh, Manscaped and <sighs> Ford and League of Legends and Raid Shadow Legends and Apex Legends and that's all the legend games that I know of. Uh, Shadowverse and... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, hold on, I missed the other one. <laughs> hey, now that I have your attention, thank you for an amazing year. You guys have been great. Hey, you two, it's been a hard place lately. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you're up to date with my content. Man, this is great collab coming up next month. Be sure to check out my links. They're down below in the doobly doo. Now, if you're all dying to know how to recruit more amazing samurai, just look at him. Lots <laughs> of abilities and more. I now, would you... be saying a sponsor segment of Batto Imu on vacation too. Alright, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, TTS. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Dragon Sharp. <laughs> I may be wondering like me, but how do we get him? I'll tell you. I spent a lot of time looking out, and I finally found out how. But man, <laughs> they totally helped me with this amazing sound. Speaking of, there's this amazing music channel I recently found, so be sure to follow it anyways. How to get JJ, right. <laughs> just five seconds more to go on how to recruit it, and like barely, it like, covers up the screen, so it's like just smudged too, so you can't really see everything. Alright, thanks for watching my video. Okay, bye! <laughs> Two minutes of outro. <laughs> Food has been ordered. Let's go. What'd you order, Chad? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Whiddly, diddly, whiddly, diddly, whiddly, diddly, whiddly, diddly, whiddly, diddly, whiddly, diddly. Diddly, whiddly, whiddly, diddly. Don't whiddly the diddly. Just diddly in the whiddly. Okay, it's not here either. Okay, so it has to be the main building. It's the last place. There is no more. Unless... No. Invisible walled. Bye there, bye there. Texas Roadhouse, hello? Wait. Is that the one with the, the biscuits? Sleep early in? Oh, okay. Alright, have a good night, Dragon Sharp. Thanks for stopping by. I hope the vacation keeps being nice and kind to you. Hope you have a lot of fun. Sounds like you have a lot of fun. I hope you keep. I hope it keeps up. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, you did get the rules. All right, that's so curious about. Are we sure we can take this? Okay, then we go up to the second floor. Okay, yeah, this is it. All right. Where is... Was he... He was there. He was there. How did... How did I not see him? How did I... Did anybody else see him? Please don't tell me you guys saw him and I'm just a big old... Oh my god. You can just like walk right next to him too. He seems... Busy. Yeah, he sure does. Maybe now isn't the best time. <laughs> ah, Captain Raymond. I see you are still on Peripium. How Peripium, may I be Peripium. of service to you? Hey, JJ. I was hoping you might consider joining our crew. There's way too much we still don't know about the Scorpium. I'd feel a lot better if we had one of them on our side. I understand your position, but... Ray, we're not here to force anyone. Let's leave him be, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I wish I could be of service to you, ah. but I cannot bring myself to abandon my comrades affected by recent events. It's no, different, Rose. It's different. Doom was okay, different. Okay, so what's next? <laughs> All we know about the Scorpium is what little we got out of the learning facility and the stories Lola told us. I wish Duma would give up more intel, but then again, it might be too biased. Lola? 
Hmm? Just now, did you say Lola? Yeah. Yeah, one of the Virians back on Aster. Uh -oh. She filled us in on what she knew about the Scorpion. Varian. Yes. The others aboard that Scorpion battleship were Varian too, I suppose. What's up? You familiar with the Virians? I once was, yes. It was quite some time ago, though. Does Virian involvement mean you'll reconsider coming with? Not only the Centralists were after, but two soldiers from Vir, too. Gaston and Valanche. Hmm. Well? I'm afraid I must show restraint. I cannot abandon Perapium when it is in such a state. I am sorry. Well, I think our path forward is now revealed to us, is it not? We must simply see Perapium restored prior to our departure. Huh? Now there's an idea. Transportation's my forte. Tell me what you need, and I'll see that it gets here. I... I couldn't possibly. Are you quite sure? Absolutely, yeah, Jaren Jaren. I mean, it won't be entirely out of the goodness of my heart. I'm gonna need your help afterward. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. So be it then. My services, modest they may be, are yours. Once we see this place restored to what it once was, here is what we need. I fear it is much to ask, but once we have all this, we can begin. Oh shit, okay. Alright. So it did have, luckily it mentioned we can buy cylinders on our ship. So we just gotta go start the ship and then we come back here and we we'll give them to him. And luckily that was mentioned in another guide, but it didn't mention how the heck they actually recruited. Uh, just cutscenes. Cutscenes after Pompadour. Thank you, Captain Raymond, for your... <laughs> S to the I to the M to the B. He's simple. Simple. Did you know that she was a Virian idol? A wild idol? appears. <laughs> no? Well, how could you? Raymond to bridge. We're departing Parapium in just a few. Head back to our original sector through the Scorpium wormhole. Once we're out, take us to Vergold at maximum warp. Understood. Come on, we gotta get to the bridge. Uh, so apparently she was like, she's kind of done with this. Unless... Reminder to check your inventory soon in case of upgrades. It's okay, Smiley it's okay. Face. We did do that, we did do that. I appreciate it, we're good, we're good on that front. Uh, yeah, we, we, we luckily fixed that. Because they were like, so the people that I was using had their equipment, but the other people that I wasn't using didn't have their, like, current equipment. And that's what ended up happening. It's so Delivery? Not being able okay. Get residential real quick. Ah, uh, so Welsh basically told us only come back if we find the ring. She's like obsessed with that ring now. The one with like the, the pointed finger. The one that pairs with hers. And that was the last message that we heard from her. Oh, you're a fan of a solo. Oh no 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 I'll get stuck in it. No 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 solo. There's no time for a solo. I think we're good. Okay, so we go to the transport room. No. Residential. No, common area. Fuck. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> there is. Must. <laughs> Dude, I gotta go. I gotta go back. As soon as we get the ability to transport, I gotta go beat up the old man and claim my title as the Asoa Master. Well, like, Grand Super Champion Master thing, Majigger Bobby Doodle. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, 
So we don't got we don't get access to it yet. It looks like. All right. All right. Looks like I we got to do it. Told me it was on the ship. Captain Marielle, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. What? How? Wait, the they Vela survive? Gulf. Put yes. Yes. Good, Captain. Captain Curtis. Nice Curtis, job out of Curtis, there in one piece. Curtis. It'll take wait. more than that to sink us. Hold on, Besides, what do you mean? Hold on, wait, you I rammed your ship into the enemy. about you, since the Astoria altered course to pursue you. Uh, actually, Captain Bennett and his entire crew was integrated to Scorpium, and they invaded a Scorpium colony. He was firing upon non-combatants, <laughs> so we had no choice but to engage him, and... I see. <laughs> but, Captain... Can it be true that a fleet under command yeah, of never get rid of the water is wings. currently attacking Vergold? It is. They're using the pretense that Vergold has been antagonistic, interfering in Pangalactic Federation interests. What a bunch of... <laughs> You're fucking with our dad, dude. Federation are clearly in the wrong here. But we're stuck playing catch-up, since no one knows why the commander has gone berserk. Captain... Commander Remington is connected with the Centralist Scorpium, the same force that attacked the Manuk system. What? It is likely that the commander himself has been integrated, and we have evidence that shows he may even be the Centralist leader. The truth dun, is... Dun, dun. Oh, shit. This whole crisis started with the Federation, when Bennett and other Earthling officers were integrated. Still... I can't believe this has been going on for 15 years. <laughs> they don't even hold back against their fellow Scorpion. And what's worse, their abilities are vastly superior to those of us that are flesh and blood. My guess is they're going to use this power to expand the Federation's influence. But why would they attack for gold? Well, that's the thing. They're really it's not as like... if there's been any fierce outward antagonism with for gold up to now. Yeah, oh, right. Do. I mean, other than shooting us. The other unallied planets. Hey, Duma. I remember before you were saying you came aboard the Yetus to assess Vergold's suitability for integration. And these centralists, they're also connected to the network, right? Correct. Does this mean they're invading with the intention to integrate the people of Vergold as centralist Scorpion? I think that would we make can sense. assume that. You're going? Hey, my home is in danger. I will do my part and gather allies to put a stop to the commander's madness. Kick his now, ass. We have no way to tell if any Federation ships that come our way are part of Remington's faction. So for safety's sake, give me a heads up if you decide to bring any friends along. Will do. I'll send you all we know about Remington's movements at present. I'll make God. my way to Vergold as quickly as possible, too. I wish you and the Aldus a safe journey. Over. This is terrifying. We have like Add Curtis's data and traitors that we can't tell who they display. are. So, each of those dots is a gigantic ship akin to the Astoria. Hmm. I now see why Lambert would be so unnerved by the mere sight of the Tyrannus. The enemy's advance forces will reach for gold in forty-eight hours. It would be reasonable to estimate combat will begin in 72 hours. How about us in the Vela Gulf? Even rushing to Vergold, at warp 11 as we are, we will not arrive for 96 hours. Ew. The Vela Gulf is in much the same situation, approximately 98 hours away. Damn. Well, guess that means we can't really depend on them then. Sorry, everybody. Hope you don't mind helping me clean up this mess back home. <laughs> See, like Leticia in the back, raise her hand. I kind of, I kind of care. Duma <laughs> Maybe off with Leticia. I better go look. I just wanted to help my home planet. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that that is actually true. <laughs> Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. She's kind of, she's kind of been quiet lately. Technology that increases the speed of a ship on a whim, with no regard for wind or waves, is quite awe-inspiring. 
I don't care how much Bergold's stance opposes that of the Federation. Attacking them without proper warning is unjustifiable. Yeah. I will Fuck contact em. you when we reach the Vergold system. So please take this opportunity to get some rest and food. Thanks, Elena. My mother and father are in Vergold. Please let us make it in time. Hi, Chloe. Never thought the Federation would actually take a swipe at Vergold. Damn it. I knew I should have gotten a better engine when I had the chance. Wait, where's Nina? You're right. Where's Nina? She's pressing buttons. Where's Nina? She got into the coffee. <laughs> oh no, she found the alcohol. Nina, no! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> She's just like running around the residential quarters. <laughs> just ringing bells. <laughs> Are we traveling swiftly or not? I find the inability to perceive inertia aboard this vessel perplexing. I'm so glad everyone on the Vela Gulf is safe. Surviving that dire situation is quite a feat. I'm so glad everyone on the Vela Gulf is safe. <laughs> oh, we teleport. Okay. Ow. There we're done. Back. Okay, you got my stuff? Is it weird that I missed the comfortable okay. hate with that little yeah. off of me? <laughs> oh no, I gotta I gotta fix the sensor view so bad. It has that little like <laughs> the little pop when it comes in. <laughs> yeah that way. <one>. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, you folks have fought with those scorpion guys before, right? If you get hold of any parts, you can me. Ride me like the 25 cent ride from Walmart. The little horse you would. Are you getting our Morse code? I owe you one. I am, I am. Just bring me whatever you can find. It just says a lot of ah. Uh, actually, don't know more. Let's go. <laughs> Hold on. What what would that be? All right. So what was it? It's just a lot of beeps. All right. Let's go. Let's go look up like a Morse code cheat sheet. Morse code cheat sheet. All right. So it would be. All right. Well, that's no good. Open image. Here we go. There we go. Uh, H or S or I. Ah, oh, crap. How do we how do we separate letters? Right, there's a lot of beep 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 beep. <laughs> so you're either saying ah uh, is or sis or his. Oh, and E. I missed E. Okay, yeah, so... <laughs> uh... Psy? C? 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 S? I? H? E? I? S? Ish? Ishi? Uh, like, E? <laughs> I H <laughs> That's what it was! You're trying to tell me she <laughs> We cracked the code <laughs> Woo <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so I have the ability to teleport out of here. The duty of Duma is to seek out candidates for Scorpion. 
and recommend integration if they are found suitable. Our actions were in service of this mission. However, recent events have given us reasonable cause to question the validity of Scorpion principles. What's this all of a sudden? You struggle to understand the Centralists. Our fundamental principles also. Although integration greatly expands our diversity and potential for evolution as a life form, the Centralists have clearly been influenced by the ambition of the Pan-Galactic Federation. And they have now chosen a path that involves attacking fellow Scorpion. We believe that Scorpion has proceeded in an overly uniform manner in our continuous quest for evolution. But... Would this not be the same even if you had not made contact with the Federation? Correct. It appears to be one of the inherent dangers of Scorpion's ideology. Pursuit of our goal so excessive that it drives us to invasion and even harming of our own kind. In short, forced evolution. Oh, well, this there's ringing like... is well and good, but this is the time for action. Even if we don't have all the answers. There's that theme again. So, what do you plan to do? It is an undeniable fact that the Centralist Scorpion philosophy is extremely dangerous. We will do whatever we can to stop them. And after that? If we are able to stop the Centralists, we are uncertain of what will happen next. That is something we must consider. I like that. You know, I'm starting to see you less and less as a computer. I'm sure things are gonna work out, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> There's no telling how bad the situation on Vergold is gonna be. Better head to my bunk and rest up while I can. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry. I want Jared, Jared. I guess we gotta get Jiren Jiren later. A wild stuffle appears. Stuffle. Guess I'll just be about rest time up. for a rest. All right, we win. Like, oh my goodness. And why not steak tonight? Mm, this is pretty good. <laughs> we How many forces he use? in the Vergold system. The battle will likely be fierce. All hands, brace for unexpected impacts. Please still be in one piece for me, Vergold. Better get to the bridge. Come on, Cranky. Take me to the bridge. Okay, now we can't work. Yep, the bridge. So the common area, right? Space battle, Star Fox. Oh, right. Uh, so Keo, this one is uh the second to last in the series. So four is the very first game, and then comes one, two, five, six, and then three is the f final game of the series. Oh, uh, chronologically. Welcome back. Take all the time you need to browse. Lawrence Logistics stocks only the finest goods. You got my catalyst. Where's my catalyst? Re. Oh, do I gotta do the quest? Oh wait, we gotta do the quest. You want four Ronixes? Where the fuck do I even get four Ronixes? My thoughts exactly. Makes all projectiles piercing. I want an Emerson now. <laughs> Holy. Dude, some of these are nuts. Ugh. I don't I don't think I'd use Shimano even if he was good. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. I'm sorry, how much was that? Is that 40,000? Thanks for stopping.
stopping by. Thanks. Yeah, so somewhere between six and three, the whole Scorpio network's never mentioned again. Well, yeah, we took care of it in here, right? Right? Why does that make you eat to fire? <laughs> Lore friendly. <laughs> Status report. Three battleships, one hybrid research vessel, and two Scorpion battleships have invaded Virgold space. The Virgoldian fleet has engaged them. We are approximately 13 minutes away from the main combat zone. Schematics. So the Virgoldians have them outnumbered. Maybe there is some hope after all. Well, it's not really that simple. There's no telling how long the Virgoldian fleet's shields will hold up against Federation battleships. Seven minutes. <laughs> Damn. Tactical. Displaying <laughs> tactical map. There's no telling. Seven minutes. Now ah. what? Three Federation vessels and one Scorpion battleship are approaching the combat zone. Two will arrive in 12 minutes. The other two, within the hour. Even if the Aldis starts fighting now, this situation looks bleak. You come all this way just to retreat? No. Never. But I gotta make sure that our info on the Scorpium is shared with my family. We're gonna cut across that battle zone and land on Virgul. But we'll never make it, Ray! I don't have any combat pilot experience! I will take over primary navigation. Please provide support. But Roger! The two values overlap on Leonel Perros. Captain! <laughs> the battleship Sadith has broken away from the Virgoldian fleet. Their warp drive is damaged. Two Federation battleships are pursuing them. Phase cannons charging. They're going to fire. They're going to fire on an incapacitated ship? Shit. Absolutely. Bring us about. Go help the Satan. Impossible. If both ships come after us, we will be destroyed in a single barrage. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! Oh? We should continue with our initial plan. Our only option is to reach headquarters and share what we have learned of Scorpion and the Federation with the Lawrence family and the military. Wait, what is this? What do you see? Look at tacticals. Two of the Federation ships have left the battle line, and they are now heading for the planet. What do they think they can do with just two ships? Surprise attacker, no, they're never going to get through the planetary shields. Ray, we're about to return to conventional space. You better settle on a plan. We're going after those two ships that left the front line. Got it. Now entering conventional space. Going to be following those ships at a safe distance. Hey, they aren't headed for the home world. This course is set for Vergnus. They must be after the Simbo drives on Vergnus. Yeah. Chase them with everything we got. Send an emergency transmission to the military. The fleet they're facing is a feint. We are already at maximum speed. We will not catch them. They are 20 minutes ahead of us. Have you gotten a response from the military? Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Berkness. It doesn't appear to be from the military. Put him through. It's dead. Dad! Oh, holy shit. What? <laughs> well, well, glad to see you punks are in one piece. Dad, I'm going to have to keep this short. The main fleet is a feint. Their real target is Provenience Cavern on Vergnus. Two of their battleships are headed there now. Keep your pants on. Maybe you forgot, but Vergnus has a permanent defense fleet. It'll take more than a couple of Federation ships to get through them. Raul Lawrence, this is Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pan Galactic Federation. Please, sir, heed your son's warning. These ships are renegades broken away from the fleet's chain of command. Normal assumptions do not apply. Why is there a Kenny aboard the Aldus? Uh, long story. We've been through a lot here. Dad, <laughs> this is important. No time, Dad. I need your help in getting the data we have to the military ASAP. It, these bastards, they're Scorpio. They're not what you think. Federation ship sighted. They're transferring down. Oh, they broke through the planetary shield? What the hell are these guys? Security, strengthen frontal defenses. Hmm. Looks like this ain't gonna be as easy as I thought. The commander of defense on Bergness is an old pal of mine. Send me your data. I'll convince him. But I want you two to get the hell out of there. Wait, what? Hey, you don't really think the Aldus can take on a fleet of battleships now, do you? 
get out of the combat zone I and do. keep yourselves alive. Got that? Over and out. No, 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 no. We got this. I believe Raoul's judgment here is sound. All we have done will be for nothing if the Aldus is destroyed. What's <laughs> like my space to protest him? What? A Federation vessel is hailing us! That was your takeaway? Yes. No. If they were with Remington, they would have shot without warning. Put them through. Understood. Putting them on screen now. This is Admiral Luca Maverick, hailing from the Pangalactic Federation vessel GFSS 1007T, <gasps> the Kalnis. The Kalnis! Admiral Maverick? He can't be what evil! What do you want, Admiral? Here to ask for our surrender? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not rush to conclusions here. Would it help at all if I told you I've spoken with Curtis? Our vessel is headed for Vergald along with one of our newest battleships. At maximum warp, as we speak, to put an abrupt stop to Remington's incursion. We should be there in around 40 minutes. Can you hold out for that long? The Vergoldian fleet might just barely make it, but they've also put forces down on Vergnes and have started attacking cities and civilians. A detached force, huh? You require any backup? No, no. We'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, think you can handle it? Sure, <laughs> we'll be fine. I can't apologize enough for Remington's actions and the cowardice of the Federation. Yeah, gotcha, but actions speak louder than apologies. Got it. Let's all get through this alive. Over. He's a good man who worked alongside my grandfather at the Federation. We can trust him. Fine. We'll let the military and Admiral Maverick handle the defense of Vergald. We are gonna transfer down to Vergnes. We're gonna go help my dad. Understood. We can transfer down to Lawrence Logistics. Thought you were gonna try to stop me. We do need I some firepower. I never assume that you, Raoul, or skin. Antonio will ever listen to what I say. Yeah, no <laughs> point in starting now, then. Ant, we're heading to the surface. Once we're there, I want you to move away from Vergnes. No need to tell me that. You think I'm gonna hang out here staring down a couple of battleships? Wait, was he? Sorry, but I'm gonna need your help. You need not have asked. Exactly. If it's a fight to save your home, then of course we're going to go. Indeed. Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. No, I think My he was Kiro. agreement Kiro. to maintain Elena is still in effect. Thanks, guys. All right, then. Let's do this! I think he may have been... Okay, all set and ready to go. Time to head for the My transfer chamber and get to Vergnes. <laughs> My dad owns a dealership. <laughs> so I think... Uh... The, the, the... Remember the guy that was with Emerson, like, on the ship? Basically, the, the second in command of the ship. I think it might have been him. I think that might be who Maverick is. Although he did look pretty young. Ah, uh, Star. Maverick. Edge Maverick. Oh, wait, hold on. He said he was Maverick. Wait, is he a descendant of Edge? Oh, shit. I just realized that. Oh shit, he might be a descendant of Edge Maverick. Also, Chad, I didn't realize that Amnesis Am came uh, before six and after five. I thought it was kind of like also the fun, the end of the end of the series. I didn't realize where that one came in. All right, to be fair, Midas was a special case, but you might have a point. <laughs> they have a page on Edge's dad, Arnold Maverick. <laughs> Was it Starish and Sakrat? What was his full name? Did anyone remember his full name?
I'm not having any luck finding. I'm not having any luck finding it. Because Maverick, of course, comes up with Edge Maverick. I'll try and look it up after stream. Look at the VOD. That'll help too, Kyo. That would be appreciated. <laughs> The Aldous will withdraw to a safe distance once we put you down on Vergnus. Contact us when you're ready to come back. We work. No. Father, mother. I can buy this stuff now. Come on, let me buy Catalyst. Fuck! Thanks for stopping well, by. All right, I think that should do it. Okay, Luca Maverick doesn't have an, uh... Okay, that makes sense. Alright, Star Ocean 6. Now, right, let's go with the Divine Force. Luca Maverick. Okay, yeah, there's not even any, like, pictures of him. <laughs> Shit. Well, shit. A wild greed ant appears. Greed ant! Just like how there's a Kenny, so I guess the Mavericks are now like part of the storyline. The Calamus is, of course, like an honorary name. It's not actually the same ship because, uh, in four, uh, I think it survived four, and then one and two, it got blown up. Well, by the end of two, it got blown up. But then it came back in three, and it came back here in six. Edge was more low-key, while Kenny was the first leader of the Federation. Alright, that makes sense, yeah. I think I'm gonna transport. I'm just like... Yeet. Yeet. Alright, here we go. Yeah. It's true. We've only Damn, we still can't go back. Hostel spotted. Stay on guard. Who are you? Oh my god. So walls. many blind sides. He just said, get off my life! You're doing great, Midas. Think 
you morons can come raise hell and do whatever you please on my planet, do ya? Uh, Hi, Dad. Dad, wait, 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 it's me, it's me. Huh? It, is that you, Ray? When the <laughs> hell are you gonna start <laughs> listening to your old man, you dolt? But you did make it back here in one piece, I'll give you that. Yeah. So, Elena, what are these bastards really after? They are likely here to learn the secrets of the Simbo Drive. The squadron engaging the Vergold defense fleet is a diversion. How do you figure? Many Federation officers that have integrated oh the squadron have like beamed down on Vergnus. I would guess that this is their main force. I still don't know what the hell these Scorpions are, <laughs> but I get the picture. The or is that a rat tail? Always been on no, a rat tail is more like. Up, just so they can get their mitts on our Simbo drive. Single thread. Uh, looks like they've finally blown their tops. Hey, Ray. Yeah? What is it? How many times have I told you to give me all the important details up front? Uh, I sent you the data. I passed it on to the defense base commander and told him to read it. I'm busy protecting my business. Ain't got time for that. The hell? <laughs> I'm guessing this all means these jerks will be going after the Museum of Vergnesium Symbology. Right, Elena? Seems likely. Am I correct yeah, in assuming you okay, all okay, okay. are the resident experts on these Scorpium at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Okay, then. In that case, I'll leave the defense of the museum to you. I'll send word along to the Vergnesian military and police. Just make sure you keep this city safe. Got that? Don't worry about that. We're on it. Huh. Good answer. Don't screw this up. Once we've taken care of this mess, bring your friends around. We'll have one hell of a party. Yeah. The Museum of Symbology is just south of here. We're counting on I your love help. I love BTW, who's the chick? Time we helped you save Nicely yours. done, son. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. So what we got here? Uh, yeah. It's actually. It's. I'm very surprised. They've. They definitely like debated me several times now. Where I'm like, yeah, we're almost done. Yeah, yeah. yeah the game's almost done. And the game's almost done. And the game's almost. And the game's almost. And, uh, and the game's almost done. <laughs> They've been doing a pretty good job at that. I'm impressed. All right, uh, rat tail haircut. Return of the king all over again. Okay, that one's funny. When? <laughs> all right. <laughs> This one's funny. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like it'd be it'd be smaller like this, and like it's typically braided, right? Sometimes it looks like that, but like most times, I feel like it's braided. What the fuck? Yeah, it's creepy. So then, what would his be? His would be. Was that a mullet? Like, a, a grown-out mullet? What was the dad's haircut? What, what is a long mullet? Oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be what it is, yeah. It's a long mullet, yeah. <laughs> I, like, that's pretty much the dad's haircut right there. <laughs> yeah, giga mullet. <laughs> That for a joke. <laughs> I'm guessing we met we're all we met dad. <laughs> we met dad. I was just trying to figure out like what his hairstyle was.
but yeah, no, you were you were on the nose, right? <laughs> you gotta grow out your your hair, son, and get a real one while we like your dad. <laughs> okay, now we have the ability to go wherever we want. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's go back to the shit. Hold on, wait, there's shopper right here. Hello. Few items yeah, sure, absolutely. Hey, you got any catalysts? Oh, yeah, you do. Let's go. All right, capacitors. I think this is what we were looking for. Where's the catalyst? Shit. All right, I think that uh, should do it. That. Hey. Why? Right, there we go. Cylinder. Yeah, these. Okay, by eight of these. Okay, thank you. All right, I think that should do it. All right, now we go back to Perpium. and then he should be like right here. Yeah. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. You have my thanks. Having the very heroes who saved this colony lending their hands to the reconstruction efforts has boosted confidence on the network. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our kind owe you and your crew a great debt. I would hardly claim us heroes. Could I trouble you with this next? Okay, yeah, we got sure that. Thing. Whatever you need. I give you my heartfelt thanks. Here you go, we found these in the way. Deliveries any day. I appreciate your assistance. This should be the last I need from you. Lay it on oh, me, Oh, we got eight of those? All right. Hey, what really made you change your mind about tagging along with us? Did something about the Virians pique your interest? Just remnants of the past. Well, listen. You ever feel like talking it out? I'm all uh, ears. Lola was. It's not that I feel uneasy sharing such. You know you have my confidence, Captain Raymond. I am simply still wrestling with how to come to terms with certain circumstances at hand. But I believe by serving under your command, I may yet find the <laughs> answers I seek. Right. Right. Uh, JJ's gonna murder I'm not somebody. Sure I follow, but always glad to be of help, especially for you, JJ. Uh, and a help you have been. We're almost finished now. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. Oh, 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 oh it's happening! We got trouble? There is an issue with the integration plant facilities. We need to work out the root cause of the problem. But I cannot ask you to aid us any more than you already have, Captain. Apologies for offering nothing in return for your support. I think it best you continue your journey without me. After all this... Uh, don't sweat it. Our deal was you'd join only if we got this place back up and running. JJ. You have no need to worry about us now. Come again? You have somewhere to be, right, JJ? We can manage the situation here in your absence. C comrades The knowledge you have shared of civilizations beyond our own have driven the efficiency of our recovery efforts. And thanks to everyone's help, we are much further along schedule than originally planned. Since we are this far in our efforts, the remaining matters are safe in our hands. What do you say, JJ? Hmm. Okay, those face masks do look sick. It would seem space calls for me again. But, comrades, know that you can always reach me on the network if you are in need of assistance. Yes, and should such need ever arise, we shall happily aid you however we can. Captain Raymond and crew, it would appear that I am now at your service. Haha. <laughs> Glad to have you with us, pal. It is an honor to have you, Sir JJ. Yes! Oh, what's he do? What's he do? What's he do? Oh, I can't even see. Okay, alright, well, that's fine. That's fair. Alright, next time. Next time, PAs.
We're doing all the PAs. All of them. There were so many PAs that we gotta do. Because we gotta go back, we got JJ, we got the full crew now. I'm assuming the full crew. Unless Antonio joins us. There's no way Dad's joining us, so... Antonio might be the last member. So, we got the full crew. So we go back and we can visit all the old towns and see all the, the interactions next time. Wait, there's still an hour? I gotta go early. I gotta go early. I think stream time is gonna be cut down to 5 o'clock now. Uh, next unfortunately. Time in Dragon unfortunately. Ballsy, Grassy learns what his dad's real intentions are. <laughs> so that's on me. Nani the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just kind of came up abruptly. Uh, so I, I think I gotta, I think I gotta end streams at like five now, around five. Well, at, like we go a little bit over, but not too much. Oh, so we got that. Uh, do I got him? Do I got him on party? Can we send him out like real quick? I want to. I kind of wanted to see stuff. No, <laughs> no, no, I can't. It's not in our party. <laughs> All right, well we got JJ. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Is he in the reserve? Uh, I can't go down to it. Oh, oh! What the? Oh, it's not the- Oh, because I can't swap people in and out. Got you. I got you. Alright, so what's he got? Okay. Yuto. Counter? Oh, yeah. It doesn't work with projectiles though. Okay, okay, good to know. Good to know. Uh, still Star Ocean. I asked Brandon if he wanted to do Wednesday stuff, but Brandon is still busy with things. A Brain wild still club busy of his ears. Because it was like, hey, Brandon, I think I'll be done with uh, Star Ocean on like the 30th, which, you know, I mean, we're not done, but. <laughs> I kind of figured we would be. <laughs> that was my assumption. But he told me he was going to be busy on the 30th. Auto healing. Uh, do we want to go on here? Up, or up any particular tree? Okay, these trees are weird. Clavopus look like. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he looks adorable. I want it. I want it bad. Modified Ryoto. This stands lasts longer, but it's stronger. Oh wait, no, it lasts shorter, but it's stronger. Okay, so an even stronger counter. Bow, bow. All right, and the other ones are over there. Okay, we'll just circle around. I've seen my fair share of weird-looking treats. None are the weirdest. They just hug each other. <laughs> Any block bullets? Hold on. I don't think this one said anything about not blocking projectiles. Although it does say it's a modified version, so the, the original version couldn't block projectiles. So we'll have to test that. We'll have to test that. Probably not, my guess. That's what I'm leaning towards, but it. It doesn't specify, so maybe... Alright, what's this one over here? Is that gonna be like, int? Oh, prep time, one on it? Alright, whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's like my bacon sometimes, but meh! Okay, expertly trained deadly strike. Still not JJ's way of sword play, so we'll never boost the VA gauge. Holy shit!
That is a massive multiplier. Uh, to put that into perspective... Holy shit. Uh, here's Midas's Spicule Multiplier. <laughs> to, to put the, and this, uh, this has points into it too. This is a level 4 Spicule. So I think it started out at like 200. <laughs> 800 is bonkers. <laughs> Actually insane. Okay, what's this one? Okay, no flinch. That one's really good. Oh, I don't think we care about intelligence. Like, Ant is not a style we care about unless there's a way to convert Ant to, like, crit damage. Okay, 100% flinch res and 75% attack. That's really good. Contemplating death. Okay. Hold on, what's this? Reduces damage while standing still. Okay, so if you're not taking any actions, you... That plus the Giga Slash? Yeah, I think that should last. The two should overlap. Hold on, how expensive are they? Okay, so this is... Five! Ooh, okay. And that's three. All right, so we need eight. So the AI can't perform it in a combo. So we have to set those to separate buttons. Right, reduces defense, but increases move speed. Oh, there's one more skill I didn't get over there. I see it. All right, no flinch damage. Prep item we don't care about. We do care about health, though. We'll take that. And then work our way up. Because it's shorter. Grab that attack. Oh, yeah, and there's the thunderstorm. Alright, be quick. Alright, modified Ryuto. Attack by projectile, JJ will nullify counter. Hey, hey! There we go, there's the. Okay, so he can, in fact, block bullets. <laughs> yo! Yo! That's Spicule's modifier. Holy dude, check. For a counter. <laughs> dude, the counters look so cool. Look how much damage that one does, too. Dude, if you get good with the counters, you do giga damage. And if you don't want to get good with the counters, you can still do giga damage. He looks like so much fun. Oh, it's getting an RTX update? Okay. In other words, your foe. Kill no. I'm not landing the counter. No, 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 no. I can land a counter. I can land a counter. Like one. Like singular. <laughs> I'm curious how the AI does. I wonder. I wonder if the AI will be like giga with it, or if it's gonna be like super derpy. Right. We don't have any use for eight. Why am I? Like, I mean, none. I don't. I don't even think he gets a passive to. No. <laughs> No, he doesn't get the the int to strength buff. Wait, are any of these int based? Okay, normal attack. Normal attack. Uh, normal attack. Attack. Yeah, he doesn't have any int based though. An int by itself is just like magic attack. I think. I don't think he gets magic defense. Can't put JJ in the party yet. Ah, uh, we'll worry about that. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We'll put some of his big boy stuff on. All right. So contemplating your death for the buff, and then we want to put that one. Yeah. Or the whole boy. No, no. I want that on the whole boy. And then we want the counters. OK. 
Okay, this is the the big boy one. That's this is the super short duration one. And then this is the other counter. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Fury is... Okay, that one. Okay, that looks about right. Alright, yeah, 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 he's set up. He's set up, we're good. Oh, you're absolutely gonna give myself... Oh, 100%. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Fury? There we go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, alright. Everything's set up. We got all that. Uh, I don't want to put points into his skills yet, but I do want to put his passes on because that'd be smart. Uh, so, flinch. Flinch is good. Oh, uh, yeah. Weapon attack is excellent. Have you sustained damage? It's either that or healing. Yeah, let's go with the, the damage reduction. He has a lot of HP. Oh shit, okay, yeah. Thunder's getting real big. Alright. Yeah, it's a sign. It's a sign. Alright, let's go before it shuts off the power. Alright. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Sorry, I gotta go early. It's time to stop. <laughs> it is time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? okay I believe. No more. All right. It's time to stop. That's fair frame. Oh my goodness. <laughs>